Hmm. What's happening, my dad cast family? My apologies for being late. What's happening, my dad cast family? All right. <clears throat> Audio is good. We are good. Sorry for being late. Had a really busy day today. Uh, went up to Cubby Hole Collectibles, hung out with uh, Eric from King Nut, uh, King Nut Diecast Cars a little bit, hung out with Vic, collects junk a little bit at uh, Cubby Hole Collectibles. Uh, was a good day. Um, did get some more stuff up there, <laughs> so I'll go over that. So, yeah, uh, excited to be back, guys. I had such a good time last week on last week's live stream, talked about some really good stuff, shared some really good information. Some really good chatting, uh, shared some laughs. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing that again this week. Uh, if it's your first time here, this is Diecast Discussion. I'm Derek. I'm your host, Honest Diecast. But collectively, we are all Honest Diecast. And uh, together, we strive to bring together a true Diecast collecting community. All about the cars, not about the money. So if it's your first time here, I hope you enjoy. And I hope to see you back. So with that in mind, let's get started. Willie Tin Lizard in the house, laughing. What's up? <laughs> uh, Sean Coral in the house. What is up? Uh, cool Chase 9 fan. Hi. Uh, Rudy Moons. Good morning. Good morning, Rudy. I know it's probably pretty early over there. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Josh's Hot Wheel Addiction says, what's up, y'all? Inland Empire Rail fan says, yo. Uh, yo, how are you doing, man? Doing good, Fly Kicks 23. Sounds like you might like Jordans. There's my good buddy Eric, uh, King Not Diecast Cars. Hopefully, you enjoyed your custom. Uh, enjoyed seeing you, buddy. So, uh, yeah, we got to make that more much, much more often occurrence because, yeah, it's been far and few, few between, but it was really good to see you today, and I'm glad everything's doing good. Uh, Cody Collins in the house. What's up, guys? What is up, Cody? Andre Cruz, hola amigos, what's up man, enjoyed your live stream last night, I couldn't tune in for too much of it because I was actually out on the road, uh, but I did enjoy it, uh, it was great seeing you live, so please do it again, very soon. Uh, Steve in the house, what is up, good to see you, good to see you as well Steve, thank you for tuning in my friend. Zelda in the house, Susan in the house, good to see you Susan, hope all is well. Uh, Eddie in the house. Good evening, Eddie. What is up? Bear Wheels Diecast. What is up? <laughs> so I'm working on a mail call episode. I actually had some time to get this together. But Bear Wheels Diecast sent me a box that is absolutely incredible. So I am really looking forward to sharing that with you guys. I should have it up tomorrow. So definitely keep your eyes open. But I I cannot believe what they sent me, <laughs> but just wait till the episode. Thank you guys so much again, Seth and Victoria. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your generosity. That was just mind blowing. So thank you. Uh, what is up, man? What's up, Pia? Where's my man, the mailman, AZ Toy Hunters Guild? <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got some stuff to talk about. He'll probably, uh, I'm going to try to bring him on around 8.30. So by 8.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please. Thanks. Kids. They make a lot of noise. 4.40 a.m. in Belgium. Wow. Early bird. Uh, Dane Self. What's up, buddy? Hit the like button, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, NYC Diecast. Uh, what's up, Derek? Shout out from NYC. Grateful to be back on another Honest Diecast live stream. Thank you. Appreciate you, NYC. Happy you enjoy and happy to see you back. Hopefully you're finding some stuff out there in the Big Apple. Uh, Craig, what is up? Uh, Mikey, this started roughly five minutes ago. <laughs> A little late today, so I apologize, guys. Uh, Willie said, finally picked me up a, prop, a proper monitor. Should have a long time ago. Boeing time's better than that cheap 15-inch screen. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Susan says, I'm a bit under the weather, so I'll probably catch this tomorrow, but wanted to say hi. Hello. I hope you feel better. 
sorry to hear you're under the weather. Uh, I had some really bad allergies today. I was just all mucked up. I'm just, I'm happy I cleared up a little bit. Hopefully that's what it is, but I hope you feel better. 1050 in the USA, he says, Cody. Yeah. Yeah. It's seven, uh, 743 here. You late, son. I'm sorry. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Eric, good to hear you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> uh, I'll be happy to make you another one. Sorry that took so long to get to you, but I'm happy you like it, bud. Uh, for those that don't know, I, I made uh, I made Eric a custom 918 Matchbox 918 uh, in Martini livery. Um, I thought it came out pretty good. Uh, the wheel choice was really good on it. I like the wheels that I put on it, but unfortunately I couldn't fix the front end stance. That bugs me so much with 918s. It's with Hot Wheels. It's with Matchbox. It doesn't matter. But if you look at them, they're like this. <laughs> they're on the boat, cruising on the lake stance. You know, it's, uh, uh, I don't know how Mattel messed that up twice, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, Adrian in the house. What's up, Adrian? He says, what's up, Diecast fam? Good to see everybody checking in. Love you guys, man. Uh, Ferris, also in the house. What's up, Diecast family? Glad to catch this live's week. Let's shoot for four hours. <laughs> I don't know if my wife will approve of that. <laughs> Eddie G in the house says, what's up? And what's up, diecast community? What is up, Eddie G? Q harmonica right now. Uh, let's see. Brandon, what's up? I remember you, Brandon. says, good night, bro, from Trinidad. Wow, that's awesome. Good to see you, Brandon. Uh, Adrian, thank you very much. Appreciate you, bud. So hopefully everybody is uh, finding some stuff. I did find some HKs today. Uh, I found some HKs a couple days ago, but like two cars. That was like it. <laughs> but I found some more. It was a pretty fresh drop. Um, I'm not sure if the case was just missing it or the person I got beat by somebody and they just wanted that particular car. But that very zamac looking McLaren F1 GTR, it was gone. It wasn't there. But I found just about everything else. I found Jeeps. I found the Jeep Cherokee. I found found lots of stuff. Um, yeah, I got the stack right there. So, yeah, I'll show you guys what I picked up. Uh, but it's good to see some HKs. Very, very nice. Very exciting. Uh, Jeff in the house. What's up? He says, I am in the house. Good to have you as always, Jeff. Uh, Ken, what's up, buddy? Uh, it says, I'm out hunting right now, tuning in. Good luck out there, bud. If you guys want to know of an Apex Hunter, there's one right there, Ken Capone. He's on our Facebook group, and uh, he puts in work, man. He gets some good finds. Uh, Bear Wheels, nice. He says, you're welcome. Uh, they say, you're welcome, Derek. We just found two sets of the new Boulevard. Nice. Very, very nice. I did come across, in the next hunting episode, you'll see I came across some Boulevard shippers. So keep your eyes on your Walmarts. It looks like they're starting to get those in. Um, it's the last mix. So... The one with the red and white drag bus, the laurel, that mix. It's that mix. So, but if you haven't caught that one, definitely, uh, definitely check out, and uh, you should find. Frankie, what's up, buddy? Saying what's up, everybody. I got a mail call from Frank Camacho. We'll go over that in a bit. Excited to see what you sent me. I did open the box, but I haven't opened anything in it, so I'm excited to see. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to catch up. I'm just flying through. Uh, Brandon Liver Diecast in the house. What's up? Bullet76. What's up, my friend? Been chatting with him on email quite a bit. Good to have you back in the hobby, my friend. I just realized I spelled my TikTok, wrong, my TikTok name wrong. Alexis first, Alexis second. Interesting. <laughs> Thanks for the info, buddy. Appreciate it. Some people find a drifter, says Mikey, not me, still not me. I still haven't found any, but thanks to Bear, uh, Bear Wheels Diecast, I, I do have a set and a couple of extras. So thanks, guys. Again, I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to have that. Skips Diecast in the house. What's up? What is up, my man? If you guys haven't checked out Skips Diecast, make sure to head over and check him out immediately. So, yeah, what are you guys finding right now? Uh, Superbird, that is a good question. I know that number 91 car, which was second place in GTE Pro, uh, fell back a little bit. 
Uh, but to my knowledge, number 92 is still in the lead. So now that you brought that up, let's check it. Yeah, if you guys don't know, 24-Hour Le Mans is going on right now. It's a big deal uh, if you're into this because this is pretty much – this is the last race for GTA Pro. They are canceling out the class. That's the class that my beautiful RSR is in. Um, and, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. So I don't know if you can see it. We'll see if it focuses. Probably not. There we go. So this is GT, uh, GT Pro. Number one is number 92. That is my car. Kevin Estry is driving right now. And number 91 pulled back into second place, but it is only up by uh, it's only up five seconds on the uh, on the C8 Corvette uh, from Corvette Racing. So yeah, they're doing good, doing good. Still, still got a long way to go. We crossed over the half hour, uh, the halfway mark not that long ago, so we got about 11 hours left. Um, and unfortunately my, my weather tech portion GTE am has fallen to third place, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it looks like that Aston Martin vantage is starting to do work in, uh, in GTE am. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes on it for sure. We've got a long ways to go though. <laughs> Willie and as expected Corvettes in tail. <laughs> Uh, it's it's hanging right in there. It's only five seconds behind second place, which is number ninety one Porsche. So uh, it did have second place for for a while there. Uh, there's John right there. What's up, buddy? I uh, got a mail call from John. We'll go over that here in a bit. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Hope all is well. Uh, Peyton says, uh, buddy, hook me up with exclusive. Sweet deal. Very sweet. Yeah, Motor Train Channel. That's what. That's where you can find it. Obviously, I'm not watching a computer right now, so I, I got my phone on right now. Just, just refresh the the list. Um, Wonder Woman. Uh, Susan says a collector friend uh, found the Mini Cooper treasure hunt for me. Nice. Found him the Jeep Wrangler treasure hunt he needed, so we did a little trade. Nice. Very nice. The Mini Cooper treasure hunt is HK's regular treasure hunt, correct? I think that's what it is. I did not see that. So, yeah, it looks like I probably got beat. Unless it was just a weird case. But, yeah, I did not see that. Found two mini uh, treasure hunts so far. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I did not see that one today. Yes, H. Yeah, so I didn't see it. So either it got either it got taken or might it might have been one of those oddball, uh, one of those oddball cases. You know, I mean, nine out of ten times we get a regular treasure hunt in U.S. cases, but it's it's not always guaranteed. Not always. Uh, skips. Uh, Mountain Drifters hitting Walmart and Target over here. Found two boxes at Target. No chase. Had a buddy order ten cases and only one chase. Damn. 10 cases that's like 700 bucks holy cow i was planning on ordering a couple not not 10 not 10 though hopefully he doesn't take all those r34s and flip them if he wants to get rid of some let me know because i do want some for customs that's for sure uh mikey says drops are all over the place it's hard to find a wave yeah that's a good problem to have though It's a good problem to have. It's better than not finding anything. I'll tell you that. Wow, Clone Republic haven't found any stuff but fantasy cars lately. Uh, James, J and K, just got here. We skipped on. We skipped on H case for some reason. Wow, nice, nice. I think the UK had something like that too, where they skipped over F and. G and or something like that. They went straight to H. So uh, you should you should get another shot at it. Seven cases between my buddy and I. No chase. Dang. Mm -mm -mm. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to support the hobby and go buy some for two hundred bucks, right? <laughs> right. Right. I trust me. I want it. I need it. I don't need it that bad. Nope. Definitely nope. 
Uh, Clone Republic, if you want to go check out the last live stream, live stream number 73, uh, it is chaptered. So you can go through and uh, go to the part talking about distributors. Uh, there's a couple of distributors listed in there that will have the email addresses. You can also look in the description as well. Uh, that mini is hard to find. 21 cases, three. Wow. Yikes. Crazy. Eric turning into a little uh, a little chase finder here. Found three of the Matchbox Super Chase Broncos. Nice, man. Very nice. Uh, Big A had a very exciting day. Youngest had graduation ceremony. Took him out to eat. Chilling at California Hotel during Starbucks. Nice, man. Nice. Kick back and relax. Uh, three cases of D, no super. Yeah, I had a tell you what, guys, I had a rough night last night. I'll tell you that right now. I decided to swing by a local disappointment around stocking time. And sure enough, they had pull it, pallets pulled out. You'll see it on the next episode. Uh, two of the 190, uh, 192 count dump bins already cracked open. Already cracked open. So I don't know if I got beat or inside job but either one wouldn't surprise me um the only thing missing out of them one of the two cases and the individual cars stacked on the side only thing missing were all the green silverados and all the core all the corvettes that were probably supers so there goes the chance for the corvette <laughs> i'm calling it a loss right now on e-case not gonna happen Might be coming down with the Brona, so no hunt for me. Sorry to hear, Mikey. Hope you feel better, buddy. Hi. There's Bruce. Bruce in the house. There's Kaylani saying hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Never call it a loss. I don't, yeah, I know. I just uh, I don't I don't know if I'm going to see a wave like that again. So yeah, it's just it, it never fails, guys. I mean, EK's last year was a huge success. Found six of those. Um, but yeah, every single year it doesn't matter. There's always there's always a case that's like nearly impossible to find. So it's just it's the way it works. Saw so loose. 84 Mustang Super for over 38 bucks on eBay. Don't buy it. Not unless you want to buy some Faya. And I don't mean just Faya as in hot. I mean Faya as in hot, like stolen hot. I think it's nowhere near to being out. Nowhere near to being out. So you guys know, you guys know what's going on there. You guys are some smart fellers. Uh, Ferris, don't give up on E-Case. You know how Kroger likes to bring it with the old e, uh, the old case shippers. Yeah, I haven't seen a single mainline shipper that yet this year. I don't think they're going to do them this year, to be honest with you. Uh, but I did have a big loss there last night as well. I cracked 13 F cases, not one single EK9 super. But I did find number four a couple days ago at a target. At a target. Yes, number four. So here's number four. Not for sale, not for trade. Already spoken for, guys. Sorry. 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 But yeah, I got somebody in mind that I'm going to give that to. So um, so wait. I won't go for it. I don't buy secondhand cars online. You are a smart man, Sean. Smart man. Oh, screenshot this. When Derek says he gives up and he won't find it the next week or so, he'll find a few of that particular car. Screenshot this. Yeah. Please screenshot this. Please screenshot this and prove me wrong. <laughs> Superbird, is there supposed to be a mailman delivering an appearance to the stream tonight? Yes. I will have Raul, uh, mailman hotwell collector from Instagram. If uh, you haven't checked him out, make sure to go over to his page on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Go check him out. Awesome guy. Apex Hunter, like premium Apex Hunter. So if you guys want to see somebody that finds a lot of stuff, that's the man. That's the man. But we'll have him on. I'm super excited for it. Uh, I'm up to nine cases at one Kroger by itself. All duds. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree cases and Kroger cases seem to be very dudsy, extremely dudsy. Uh, I think Raul, I think Raul and I were talking about this. It seems like the money case for Kroger is, uh, if you look on the subcode on the case, it's going to be F1A. So I got to another like third uh, is either 12 or 13 case drop at Kroger a couple days ago. I don't, I didn't film it because all the cases were cracked already. The only one that had a missing EK out of it was the F1A case. And if I remember, I found my Kroger EK nine in an F1A case. Um, and then I think I found my two target cases in a, what was it? A J I think a JC, maybe JC, maybe JP. I can't remember. I'd have to look at the conversation, but, but yeah, it seemed to be pretty, you know, usually you can't count on that subcode on the case to find a super, like you look at the code and you're like, that's going to have a super in it. For the most part, that's non-existent. Like it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You crack, you got to look on top and bottom of every single case because it doesn't matter. But we're seeing the trend right now with those cases. So if you have Kroger and they're dropping F, look for J1As. They seem to be the ones that are loaded for some reason for some reason or the other. Yes. Yes. And guess what a majority of those cases were last night? F2As. F2As. And a majority of them had two EK9 uh, main lines in them for some reason. But yeah, I'm a mil spec painter. Uh, no one in my area is leaving regular treasure hunts anymore. My targets haven't been dropping anything either. Sorry to hear, Josh. Yeah, guys, there's really no need to take every regular treasure hunt. I don't know why I see people doing that so much. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, even the high, even the the really cool regular treasure hunts, the realistic ones, like you know, FK's Jeep, and then last year's uh, Countach police car, last year's P case Galaxy. There's no reason to take them all, guys. Trust me, you're not gonna make a fortune on those. I promise you. I pro like ever, like ever, like if you're trying to fill a 72 count case of those and hold them for 10 years, never. <laughs> you will never make a fortune. There are some really, really old. And when I mean really old, I mean like five, six, seven year regular treasure hunts that are in the plastic wheel era, uh, plastic tire. Um, very, very nice. Very nice. They're still not, they're still not being sold for a damn. So if you're all about the money and all that stuff, don't invest your money in regular treasure hunts. Do yourself a favor. I'd hate to help out the scalpers and resellers, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just saying. Freaking Exxon is making up for the billions of dollars they lost when COVID-19 was at its peak. Yeah. Yeah, gas prices are outrageous. And I heard in, I think it's, uh, what's that What's that county called? Montecito? Something like that. County in California. Regular gas is up to is up well over $9 a gallon. Can you believe that? That is absolutely insane. But they got their clients. Clients. They're in business suits. They wear ties. They got handkerchiefs in their pockets. They hold briefcases full of money for diecast cars. Yeah, right? <laughs> My official job, technical service advisor. So you're a service advisor. I used to be a service advisor myself. One of the most stressful jobs on the planet. Yeah, no thanks. Can't wait for the Zamac Bone Shaker to drop. Nice. Nice. I did not see the leak on the newest Zamax yet. Nice. Willie's an Amsoil agent. Very nice. I Actually, I think I might have let my account expire, but I used to be an Amsoil accountant too, but I mainly did it just to get, to get the oil cheaper and to help people out, you know, help some friends out. I never really did it to make money. I think I might have gotten a check for, from Amsoil for like, 30 bucks once, and that was it. My buddy Vic just saw you today. What's up? Can't stay, but dropped by. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. 
Uh, bullet, Derek, I'm building a 934 Turbo RSR. Do you use the same size wheels for front and back or stagger? Yes. You use 10 millimeters all the way around on those. Let's see if we can get a see if we can get a focus. There we go. Yeah, so these are all 10s around on this one. And I am working on what I consider a more. Well, how would you say this? The, this one's coming out really good. I'm really, really enjoying this one, actually. But I'm working on a, an era-specific 934 RSR. So, you know, 70s into 80s when they're still racing them. But check this out. These wheels look really good on the RSR. Look at those. That thing looks beasty with those fat tires on it. I actually like it. I like it a lot. Looks very aero specific, but yeah, this is just another another simple custom. I'm probably going to put my my channel decals, maybe a stripe on the top, you know, spice it up a little bit. But yeah, it's coming out really, really good. I really like the way that this one came out. It just looks it looks vintage. It looks from that era. This kind of looks like, you know. If somebody had a lot of money and they bought an actual 934 Turbo RSR, and you know, it kind of looks like what they would make it. But either way, they look great. <laughs> I love them. I absolutely love them. Eric giving Vic a shout out for the hookup. Yes, Vic gave us some stuff, and I got that down here as well. Eric and I did a trade. Eric, I hope you're not mad at me, but I decided to trade that super in for some things and i will show you and i think you'll approve <laughs> i i don't think you will blame me so uh yeah but yeah very nice to get uh eric's custom to him uh gave vic a couple of mystery cars that he was missing as well um i think i gave king nut an extra porsche mystery car so uh very happy to help you guys out and great to see you guys again it's been way too long so so yeah, with that in mind, because I'd like to get our special guest on here relatively soon. So we'll go over mail calls and mail calls and cubbyhole finds. Let's do it. Let's do it. So first up, we'll do uh, my great friend who's here, Pixamite One. John, we'll do his box first. Uh, he typed me up a letter, which he always does, which is great. Um, he says, hello, my friend. Uh, like I always say, I got you. I got you some high-priority rail ship wheels. <laughs> I knew exactly what Josie was talking about. He sent a picture of it. I uh, got you another one. Porsche, that is. Got you some Max and some other things. I appreciate all you are doing to promote honest fun collecting in the diecast community. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Let's make this hobby better for everybody. Uh, congratulations on the 10,000 sub milestone you are about to break. Thank you, sir. A little early, but yes, hopefully, hopefully by July, our deadline is July 9th. Our second year anniversary is on July 7th, but we're going to do July 9th because that's the Saturday. So obviously live stream. So we're hoping to make it to 10,000 subs so we can do our 10,000 giveaway on that live stream. Um, uh, plus, breaking through a million views you have already reached. Yes, we crossed over a million total views on the channel, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you guys very, very much. Really appreciate it. Just, yeah. Uh, you and the family be blessed. Take care, take care out there in the desert, John. And John visits here frequently, goes to uh, Sedona, and he goes to Cubby Hole quite a bit so he knows he knows how amazing cubbyhole collectible is <laughs> as well as eric king that diecast and uh vic uh, plus countless others that have that have visited this place so but yeah let's check out what john sent always appreciate you buddy i'm looking forward to doing something very 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 special for you in the future just let me get caught up with things I still got customs up the gazoo lined up for people. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we have one of my favorite recolors from this year. The Porsche 935 in black. 
Thank you, sir. We got a bigger Bel Air Zamac. Very awesome. We have the 69 Copo Corvette Zamac. Very nice. We got probably my favorite Zamac from this year so far, I think. Yeah. R390. R390 Zamac. Very nice. Love that one. So clean. So good. Uh, the Nissan Z Proto. Very nice. How do you guys feel about the uh, the Z redesign? How do you guys like it? Tell me what you think. <laughs> it looks kind of retro. It looks kind of good. Uh, 918 Spider Matchbox. Yes, definitely, definitely, definite win. So yeah, King Nuts, uh, King Nuts Custom was made out of one of these. So it's a fabulous example. It's just that that friggin' yacht yacht stands. <laughs> And then, uh, yes, uh, John asked me if I would like a couple of these, and I said yes, absolutely, for the wheels and the bodies, because I do want to do some customs to these. Uh, but the C63 out of Deutschland Design, very nice. Can't go wrong with those 10 spokes. And then he was lucky enough, where I still haven't been lucky enough to find any of these in the wild, but thanks to you guys, I have plenty of these, so thank you guys. Everybody who sent me some of these. The Deutschland Design. 997 GT3 RS. Thank you very much. Absolute winner of the case. 110%. Absolute. Hey, absolutely. Thank you, John. Appreciate you as always, bud. Safe travels out there. Uh, if you don't know, he works on the railroad. So, so very, very long, strenuous job with lots of travel, needless to say. All right, guys, this is an interesting one. And I'll go over a little backstory on this. I'm eager to see the damage on this one, but I got a box from RD Custom Diecast. I'm not sure if uh, Rodney is here right now, but uh, he sent me a box. And inside, he included something that he won from an auction. That unfortunately got damaged, uh, and I'm going to fix this from him, for him. I'm going to tear this down. I'm going to build him. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it didn't. It's not in that bad a shape. Just besides the spoiler, the spoiler broke off a bit. That's it. But I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Oh, the front splitter came off too. Okay. Yeah, so the front splitter and spoiler came off of this. But you guys remember this? I sent this to somebody. This is a custom I did. That's a custom I did for somebody as a gift. As a gift. And it ended up getting sold on an auction. So... And then, unfortunately, it wasn't shipped very well, so uh, the spoiler broke off and the front diffuser broke off. I could, I could probably easily just glue this, uh, glue this stuff back on, but I'm gonna tear it down and redo it. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna make it better for Rodney because he spent money on this. It's <laughs> super bird. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Hmm. One leads us to ponder. But yeah, this was a gift. I put a cage in it. There's a cage in it. There's a nitrous bottle in it. It's it came out really, really well, really, really well. It's got a shifter in it. Came out really clean. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to strip this down and make this even better for Rodney because he was the one who won it. Um, and he paid money for this. And the person that I made this for didn't pay any money for it. And a matter of fact, it was a gift. So, so yeah, Rodney, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to strip this down 
and make it better than ever for you. So, again, sorry about what you had to go through with that. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know who it is, uh, GOGT pretty much said it. But along with that, RD Custom Diecast, Rodney, sent me a really, really cool tool that he designed. And I'm actually really eager to, to, to try this out. He sent me a sticker, too. So, Rodney, you are going to be the first sticker to go down here. All right. But check this out, guys. It's a tool for doing wheel swaps. And it comes with... It comes with rubber bands for the car. So basically you set your body up here and then you use one of these notches depending on how long the body is. Set the body on there, use rubber bands, tie it down. And it's supposed to give you, it's supposed to ensure that, especially if I think what it's meant to do, especially if, if it's, uh, if you're doing the tube and rod design type of axle, um, it's meant to give you a straighter axle. You're actually supposed to, to rubber band it to the axle itself, and, and it pulls it down. So here's the – it's really cool. It's really, it's really in-depth. So you guys make sure to go check this out if you're interested in using one of these. I would recommend – Supporting people that make stuff like this because this is really really cool. So RD custom speed shop. This is his thing So you might be able to pause the video and scan that That QR code right there But if not You can email or do eBay store tribal tr tranquility at gmail.com But yeah, this is it and it's a full instruction manual, and this is what this is the purpose of what it's supposed to do. So you see how you take the rubber band, you wrap it around the axle like that. So it, it's meant to ensure that the axle is straight. Because if you've ever done a tube axle type of, you know, tube rod type of axle, it can come out kind of crooked sometimes, and the car leans a little bit lower on one side than the other. So this is actually really genius, and I'm actually really looking forward to using this. Very, very cool, Rodney. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to using it. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll use it on your car. Maybe I'll convert your car to tube axle, and that way it'll lower it a little bit more. Not that it's not low already, but... Uh, Diecast Resurrection just did a review on that. Sweet. Awesome. Very awesome. Axle alignment jig. I use one, but same concept. I use a different one, but same concept. Very cool. Yeah. So it's a great, uh, I'm still upset Diecast Resurrection destroyed a green machine chase. <laughs> Don't be mad, bro. <laughs> Soon. Soon, Limited Chevy. Let's talk about them scalping. Yes, we will. We will. We will. Patience. Patience, my friend. I may need one of those. Yes. Definitely hit up uh, hit up Rodney. I believe Rodney's on our Facebook group too, so you should be able to find him on there. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. How have you been doing, Derek, physically and mentally? Physically, much better with my job. Um, very much better. Um, yeah, body's doing a lot better than being, you know, on the ground in dirt and rocks and getting oily and all that crap. I love, I love my job now. The hours are crazy, but I love it. Um, so yeah, let me just, I, sorry, Rodney, but I forgot to read your letter. Uh, I'm going to read this real quick because I want people to hear what he has to say. Uh, he says, hey, Derek, sorry it took so long to get this sent your way. Things have been busy for me lately. Anyways, enclosed is the Mustang. I hate that blank decided to dump it from his collection. He didn't disclose the situation on how it was, required, how it was acquired. I saw it was up for auction and that it was one of yours, so I bid on the pair of Mustangs he had for auction. I was frustrated at the time he decided to take the ship this. He was behind two auctions. He kept posting 
he was sending everyone stuff, but a few days later he was posting a video mentioning the same. I looked at it, and if you had, I, I look at it as if you have time to shoot YouTube videos, and you sh you should have time to get stuff sent to the people that want stuff. Oh well, sorry for the rant. I was really excited to get these then decided to do an unboxing mail call. The shipping box looked fine. An initial look at the cars in the blister did not see any broken parts. That was the Fox body. They simply should have been packed a little better, but oh well. I really appreciate you repairing blanks. Screw up. Let me know what I owe you for the repairs and return shipping. Don't owe me anything, Rodney. Uh, I just want to make this right for you. I also want to thank you for all your content on YouTube. It's a great community. I've been tinkering with customs for years. However, this year is the first time I decided to, to devote more time to it and build my collection. I have learned a ton from your content. Cannot thank you enough. Uh, many thanks, brother. Rodney Davis Sr. That is RD Custom Diecast. So thank you, sir. And then he did add another, in another second note. Um, but he... he Cost me something else, and I'm looking forward to using these too. Uh, last minute add in just 3D resin printed. These 164 NOS tanks. Let me know what you think. Maybe you can use uh, some of these in your builds. I just did two builds and added the NOS, uh, NOS tanks. Have a great week, Rodney Davis. So, yeah, that's freaking sweet. And the, the camera is not going to do them any justice, but they are very, very detailed. So it might look like they were just broken off from like a sheet or something, but no, that's like the nozzle. It's like a nozzle. It's a handle. I mean, they're very well done. And I am super excited to use one of these, especially on one of my gaster builds. And actually I will probably use it on your Mustang too. So uh, very, very cool. So thank you very much, uh, Rodney. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the tool. Thank you for the nitrous bottles. I am more than happy to help you out just repairing the custom for you so no worries my friend no worries at all you don't owe me anything i just want to make sure you get what you pay for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah uh willie says um whatever happened to to wtf4 he was huge on youtube then poof nothing it's life man it's life who knows who knows? But yeah, his channel is huge. It's huge. And his collection is insane. For sure. I'm sure he'll be back around. And there's uh, Abby Casey right there. Uh, he's still active. Just did a vid yesterday. There we go. <laughs> Gloria. You nailed it, Gloria. You, darn it, you got me. This is a pig hunting channel, not a customizing channel, someone once said. Yes, someone did once said. We only do pig hunting crap here. That's it. <laughs> uh, uh zooey mama i love customs but i'm torn because i feel like they were never hold their value well here's the thing with customs i mean there's some people um one of my moderators cedric showed me uh some of chris dangler's uh customs that are just going for crazy money crazy money and you know what if you can sell your customs for for that much, that's great. But really, you you definitely shouldn't you definitely should not even think about customs or in, in in a value aspect. You should not think about value at all with customs. Who cares? Who cares? That was um you know, that's what made this whole ordeal kind of crappy. Um the one that I just forementioned with the the last mail call is that I put my time and effort into that car specifically for somebody so that they would enjoy it and love it. And, uh, you know, they just took it and they, they flipped it for money, you know, which, you know, is whatever, but that's not the whole thing. You know, I mean, if you, if you are friends with somebody who is willing to take the time to make you a custom that you, that you want, uh, exactly the way you ordered, whatever, um, that's all that should matter. You know, that custom, you know, somebody put their time and their effort into making a car specifically for you that you would like. That's right. That's right. That's right. Can I get an amen? Amen. See, there we go. Come on. So the whole point of customs is, you know, that's the way I see customs. That's what I'm pretty sure that's the way James sees customs as well. 
Um, yeah, James Hewitt's. Hashtag Hewitt's Hot Wheels. Um, but that's kind of the way we see it. We build cars for people to enjoy. That's what I do anyways. I build customs for a lot of people. Um, and I just want them to enjoy it. And, you know, like today, I, I gave Eric that 918 and he seemed really, really happy with it. And that made me happy. You know, I want I, I totally forgot that we were doing a trade for it. You know, he, he traded me a, a Dodge Van Super for it. You know, and I completely forgot about it. I was more excited giving him that car than getting anything in return. So I, I completely forgot about it. So that's the way most, most of us see it. At least the small guys. At least guys that that don't sell customs for money. We do it to say thank you to people. We do it to make people happy. You know, there are lots of people like that. So, but yeah, that's the way I see it. If you're, if you're thinking about value with customs, you just, mm, mm, you're in the wrong place. If you're talking about value <laughs> for real, for real, <laughs> don't care about value. It's all about the cars. It's all about the people. That's what it's all about. So, uh, Tundra's racing pretty screwed up to do that. I agree. I agree. Uh, Bruce, the value is the time and effort that people put into the custom specifically for you. The value lies in, in the care put into it, the effort. The care and the effort put into it. Couldn't have been said better, Bruce. And that's coming from a guy who loves to do customs too. So very good. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> you could say that, Gio. Yeah. 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 Customs have sentimental value, not monetary value to me. Amen. That's the way it should be looked at. I appreciate that. Uh, very true, Brandon. Uh, Cologne, I love being a part of this community. Y'all are so supportive, supportive and it. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's what it's about. That's what it is about. When you come, when you become a part of this community that we are all in, it's about taking care of each other. It really is. It really is. The whole foundation of this channel was to build a community of like-minded people that care about the cars and care about the people in the community. That's what it's about. This hobby was is made to be enjoyed. It's not made to make money. It's not made to be to be taking advantage of people. That's what it's about. Sean's got to go. Have a good night, everyone. Peace. Later, Sean. Thanks for tuning in, as always, buddy. Uh, King Nut says, "Amen." Customs are like paintings. They are my art collection. I appreciate the work the artist puts into them. That's very well said. Thank you, sir. Very well said. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure I can speak for other customizers on this, but when we're building a specific car for somebody, we're like really, we don't just throw something together and be like, here, I think he'll like it. You know, I mean, most of the times we don't, <laughs> unless we just really have no idea. But, uh, you know, a lot of time and effort does go into it. A lot of time and effort does go into really thinking about what people like and enjoy. So, so yeah. I mean, it's a it's a built a built to order diecast. Where I mean, even if they didn't even give any specifics on it, so don't get me started on the art. The market is bleep. The one of one percent ruin it ruin it for little investors. <laughs> In it for the hobby, not the money. That's it. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Peyton says pencil neck. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on with the custom Hot Wheel market? I'm not happy with it. I'm not able to get $200 for this, even though somebody made this specifically for me. I want to make money off of it because some of us do this for a living. You know, let's not even start again, shall we? Let's not even start again. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. The art of the one-off, yes. Last stream was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I had, I don't know about you guys. I see a lot of people that are in here from the last stream. I hope you enjoyed it because that was like one of the best live streams ever, man. 
<laughs> Bullet 76 impersonations are on point. I'm not bad at imitations, I promise you guys. I, I'm pretty not bad. <laughs> yeah, shall we voice chat again? Yeah, P and I were going back and forth on uh, Facebook Messenger uh, doing our imitation of Florida Man. <laughs> Chris, I watched one of his videos finally, and good lord, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I could not handle it. <laughs> well, that was even more dead on the last week. Yeah, I've been practicing. Usually I wake up in the morning, and for the first hour, I'll work on my imitation of him. So, <laughs> Gary, what's up? Good to see you, buddy. Shortest diecast in the house. Make sure to go check out Shortest Diecast. <laughs> what's is a good one, too. <laughs> Uh, can't wait to get my custom. Uh, can't wait to get my customs. Have a spot for them already, and having one done for my daughter who is into Hot Wheels for Christmas as a surprise. Nice, nice, very nice. Mail, 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 mail. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Let me get through. Um, let me get through the mail calls real quick, because yeah, he is going to be here pretty soon. So, yeah. Um. So I got a mail call from Frank Camacho. He made me a custom and he sent me a couple cars. So let's see what it is, shall we? Uh, Jeff says, I had I had the under on how long it would take for the pencil to show up. <laughs> yeah, he's not coming here, man. He's not coming here because we ruined the hobby. We ruined the hobby by, you know, being all about the cars. It's a... Uh, it's uh it's vice versa, you know. It's vice versa. We're about the cars, he's about the money. There's two sides to it. So Frankie was kind enough to send me these two. I'm telling you guys, man, you guys helped me out so much with these. I swear to God. Thank you, Frank. And Frank made me a custom, and I can kind of already see it. I'm really eager to take a look at this thing. Number two pencil. <laughs> Dan's hunting for collectibles. Man, what did I miss? Um, just some imitations, a couple of mail calls. You know, that's about it. That's about it. So check this out, man. Holy cow. Look at this. I got my special guest. My special guest is waiting. Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. I'm going to talk about the subject that we have lined up I'm just, I, uh, after we bring on our special guest tonight. So I'm not going to make him sit there and wait. Actually, he'll probably have some really good input for it. Um, but check this out, guys. This is wild. This is wild. This is by Frank Camacho. Look at that. That is wild. It's a 993 GT2 with that big old engine out of that goofy... I don't know what, I forgot what casting that, I know what casting it is, but I don't know. But that color though, look at that color sway. That is cool. That's a great job, Frankie. And that's part, that's one of the coolest customs I've ever seen right there, man. That's cool. <laughs> that's like right along the line with, um, with uh, the one I got from JDC. That one is just, yeah. Off the wall, man. Absolutely off the wall. That is so cool, man. <laughs> that is so cool. That is friggin' wild. That is wild, ain't it? Holy cow. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you, Frankie. He sent me a uh, sent me a display with it too. So yes, that's gonna go right over here, right next to, right next to the one that JDC made. Off the wall, man, dude. Thank you, man. Stellar work, man. Stellar work. I'm looking forward to having Frank Camacho on one of these days here pretty soon. Um, okay, one more thing, and then we'll get our guest on. He's waiting. He's waiting. So. Uh, We'll go over cubbyhole finds and then uh, the trade box that I got from, uh, or not trade box, but the the rope box that I got from Vic. Too kind, bro. Too kind. <laughs> uh, let me see here. I got to divide these. That 
Uh, let's see. Those two are cubbyhole pickups. Try to fly through this as quick as I can. So six, eight. He had originally given me nine one of these, but I gave cubbyhole one of them because uh, they didn't have any of these. So I just gave him one. But he gave me nine. <laughs> nine of these. I think I'm good on these now, guys. I think I'm good. Like for real. <laughs> I think I'm good. But he he had originally given me nine. Like I said, I gave Cubby Hole collectible one. I'm totally good on those guys. You don't have to send them to me anymore. I'm totally I'm like I'm like over 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 beyond good, to say the least. Um but yeah, the other things he did give me, and thank you so much, Vic. This means a lot to me, buddy. He gave me four of these beautiful 935s that I love so much. These dark blues, these dark blue 35s. Definitely one of my favorite main lines of the year so far. Absolutely love that car. And he gave me one of the Porsche Boxster Spiders out of that uh, Walmart set. And a factory 500 GT3 RS. Thank you very much, buddy. I'm actually looking forward to actually doing a custom on one of those, one of those uh, Porsche Boxsters. And then for good measure, the beautiful 2021 993 GT2 mainlines. One white, one red. Thank you very much, sir. Bruce, you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Love the color on those 935-490-210s. <laughs> How rude. Okay, and then I did pick up some loose uh some loose cars from Cubby Hole, but I'm not gonna go over those because they're mainly just for customs candidates. They're nothing really too special. Um couple of Lambos, couple of Porsches, that's about it. Uh, but carded wise, I did pick up the 934 Turbo RSR in white. I have left these like the past two times I went to Cubby Hole. I left, I left these. They were there, and I was trying to leave them for somebody else, but nobody grabbed them. So I was like, okay, well that's the last straw. I'm gonna grab them because <laughs> yeah, because I realized when I started doing this custom, I need a lot more of these. I need a lot. I don't have very many of those. And I, I want to start doing some more. So definitely one of those. Definitely wanted to take those. And then, as mentioned, as mentioned, I'm going to open this. We're going to crack it open. But Eric uh, King that Diecast uh, totally forgot about it. He was trading me a uh, a C case Rio Asada Dodge Van Super. Uh, for the custom I did for him, and obviously I didn't need it anymore. I can't remember anybody that did need it. Um, so I traded it in. And I traded it in for those two RSRs, the loose cars, and this. And man, guys, I am telling you what. I am so excited to have this in my collection. This thing is gorgeous. And I'm looking forward to getting the other... Uh, I'm looking forward to getting the other, the other colors of this. Wow. Wow. This gives the Timothy and Pierre a run for its money. I'll tell you that right now. But here it is, guys. N064 997. Liberty Walk wide body. That thing is gorgeous. That thing is gorgeous. Raul's not nodding his head like, yeah, that's not bad, man. That's not bad. I'm trying to get some people on this train, man. I had a conversation with Andre Cruz. He was like, man, I see what you guys mean by them premium cars, man. I see what you mean by them premium cars. He was like, I'd rather have one of those than 20 of the same mainline sitting around. I'm telling you guys. The quality is insane. Look at that beauty, man. I'll pull out a Hewitt's right now. Man, look at that. That thing's beautiful, man. Yeah. Look at the, look at the detail on that. On that baby. Yeah. Super stoked. So yeah, super stoked to have the first N064 997 
Liberty Walk wide body in the collection. So I got two Timothy Pierre's. There's like, God, I think there's three or four more of these. There's there, If I remember right, there's a chrome one of these. I really want that one. But I think it only comes in Diorama, which is fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the little Diorama. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it for the mail calls. So, uh, real quick, I'll just go over the finds from this week. And really, there's not hasn't been much at all. But I did have that H case hit. And then we'll bring the mailman on. So, let me go through these real quick. So, yeah. Got a pretty fresh uh, H case hit. Of course. <laughs> I had to grab a couple. I had to grab a couple of those. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Not sorry. Uh, Audi e-tron. Grabbed a couple of these. This is a really nice Audi casting. I grabbed two. One for myself. One for the wifey. This is the H case. I uh, grabbed this very nice GT40 Mark IV in the Gulf livery. Definitely had to get one of those. White. Looks very, very good. Looks very, very nice. I do enjoy. Mm-hmm. I uh, decided to grab one of these NSXs. I have not found many of these. This comes in G-Case as well. If I remember correctly, this comes in G-Case. But I have not found very many of those, so decided to grab that. Here's that new regular Ford GT. And the light blue, very, very nice color. Certainly looks to be the same color that that 992 GT3 is coming out in, which I'm much excited about. WRX hatchback, just grab one. Very nice and red. And lastly, that's the Audi e-tron right there. One for me, one for the wife. That new Jeep Cherokee. That thing is really, really, really well done. Very, very nice. Usually not my type of flavor, but that is nice. The paint and everything. Very, very nice. So boom, peace intro, that is the mail calls, that is the finds, and then of course, number four, at Fry's, or no, this was at Target, so number four for that, and uh, very excited, again, that's not the market, that's definitely not for sale, it's not for trade, it's already spoken for, guys, sorry, so awesome, let's get our special guest on i need to go get my headphones real quick but i'm going to bring him on and introduce him real quick are you ready are you ready mr mailman he's ready he's ready i'm so excited for this guys so i like to uh introduce my good friend raul and uh i'm very very excited to to have him on he uh he has an instagram page i haven't we haven't been able to convince him to come over to the YouTube world yet, but maybe soon. <laughs> but he has an Instagram page. It's a uh, mailman hot wheel collector. The link is in the description below. Make sure to go check him out. Check out his Instagram page. Uh, show him some love, show him some support, but here we go. This is Raul. Mailman hot wheel collector. What's up, homie? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, good, man. Good. Good to, good see, to see you, man. Thanks for bringing me on, brother. I appreciate it. Dude, thanks for being here, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Being here. It's a pleasure. Yeah, looking forward to talking some diecast with you and going over the story about kind of how we met and how we, you know, we, that, we, we really story. can't make that up. You can't we, make we that really up. can't make that up. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Exactly. You know? What's the chances? What's the chances? And, and the people that are uh, watching and they follow me on Instagram, that picture that is uh, on my IG is the picture Derek took while we found that. Uh, that Audi hanging on the freezer aisle. I'll, I'll never forget it. Is I, I there's no <laughs> words, man. There's no words for that, you know. But that's yeah, that's what we always try to drive home is um the diecast collecting universe works in mysterious ways, you know. Like yeah. you buy something, you end up finding it. You trade something, you end up finding it. And yeah, so that whole story. So Raul and I met up. Uh, I traded you a loose Jags Demon Super 
There it is right there. <laughs> yeah, he's still got it. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. That's it. <laughs> so I traded him a loose Jigs Demon Super uh, for, a, for a carded uh, Audi Quattro Super. I, I wanted a loose one. I already had it. And that one is actually up in this display case as well. That very one is up there. Um, so we did our deal and we went into the fries that we met at and we were looking around and we were like, eh, it just kind of looks like picked over stuff. And then I, I can't remember if we found an in cap or something where there was some fresh H case, 2020 H case. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. were like, Oh crap. Well, we should probably go look around. And then we found, I think we found a strip and there was a Camaro treasure hunt on there. We were like, okay, this is fresh. Cause, cause those get, yeah. Cause those get taken left and right. So yeah, they dropped a couple of cases. That's right, because, yeah, we did find a regular Audi Quattro, and we were like, dang it, it's a dud. Mm -hmm. We just started going up those freezer aisles and checking the, checking the strips, and we both, like, locked eyes on it at the same time. Like, I saw it, and I looked at Raul, and he was like this. He's like, wait a minute. I was like, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and that was, that was Raul's first uh, super found in the wild, right? First one, yep. First yep, one in the wild, yeah. So what's happened since? Well, um, I got hooked. <laughs> um, after that, uh, I did my homework. I did my time. Uh, what? How, how far do you want to go back? I I, I did a rookie mistake. Did, went to Walmart. Uh, didn't know what I was doing. Trying to figure it out. Went to Walmart every single day at 6 a.m. Uh, I have a coworker, if he's watching. Uh, shout out to him. His name's Steven. He's also... Uh, he, he'll tell you, he went with me almost every morning before work to go look for Hot Wheels. Um, come to find out, local dose appointment, you know, I didn't find nothing, not a single case. I did. I went eight months every morning trying to see something. Maybe I saw two P cases of the Pagani that yeah. year, and that was it. Um, come to find out, they were pallet raiding at night. Uh, they were bringing the pallets out at night. Figured that one out, so I was like, okay, maybe I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Uh, started going to fries, targets, everywhere, and uh, I'm not, I'm not a shy person. Um, I'm very vocal. Um, I want to learn. I'll, I'll, I'll I want to learn. So I'll ask the employees. I'll try to pick their brains. Um, if I see somebody, you know, hey, like, hey, how's your day going? Hey, can you give me some information? Like, what's going on with the Hot Wheels? And a uh, couple months go by, and boom. I start getting into a routine into a little wave and I, I don't know. I just find, I find the supers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I find supers now, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this, uh, this man is an apex hunter. He is, he's a savage. He is a savage. So, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's a, <laughs> yeah, Vic. <laughs> Shout out my boy Vic. What's up, Vic? <laughs> and let me tell you, and let me tell you about Vic, man. Um, I think uh, uh, he st he started following me on Instagram and uh, that toy community. Um, if you guys follow the, the Arizona toy community a little bit, they're they're very uh, they're out there all the time looking for GI Joes, uh, the pops, um, Batman stuff, you name it. Um, and I think it got really really slow with COVID. And I think I'm pretty sure Vic, correct correct me if I'm wrong. You you kind of came over to the diecast world a little bit, a little bit. And uh, we started messaging each other and stuff like that. But, man, shout out to Vic. Uh, another couple of the guys in the community with toys. Shout out to uh, AZ Toy Hunter. Um, shout out to In Pursuit of uh, Toys. Man, those guys are phenomenal people. If, if you guys are a collector and you only collect diecast and you see people looking at the G.I. Joes and stuff, go say hi to them because uh, you guys will be able to work with each other. You never know. Yeah. Network. That's all. That's what it's Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Uh, it looks like TH has a question for you. Mailman is a true diecast. Dez is one of your biggest inspirations and best friends. <laughs> Him, Skilly, if he's on here watching, boy, let me tell you, I don't know if you ever watched his YouTube channel, um, but I, he was definitely big on Instagram. Uh, I think he goes by Skilly. Something, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he was, he was down in Tucson. Yeah. And uh, boy, this guy was a complete animal um, pulling uh, 10 of the of the 69 Chevys, uh, five of the demons, uh, all, all in one day. It was, it was crazy. So I, 
So I saw him as okay. I need to be. I need to be like this guy. I need to figure out what's going on and be how to be this guy. And uh, unfortunately, he ended up having to leave to California, and, and they're all over there with uh, Daikaz Dez, um, some of the other guys, Nick uh, Nick Hot Wheels, SoCal. They all kind of hang out. But yeah, Dez, if if you want to find something in California, you gotta ask Dez. You ain't gonna find nothing. This guy is just finding supers in front of 10, 15 people at one store. It, it is, it is a nightmare out in California and he's somehow Tell pulling supers out everywhere. So I don't, I don't get it. I, that guy's a monster. T- telling me, dude, man, I've gone over there about five or six times and come away with little. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it out there. Nope. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's why I always give props to uh, Adrian Big A's diecast and Skip's diecast, man. I don't know how they do it. But yeah, that California, that that's a, it's a whole nother ball game. It's yeah. crazy. But, yeah, and supposedly that scalper market is bad there. Yeah. It's, it's bad here too, but it's I guess it's bad there. I don't think we have it as bad, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh AZ Toe God says shout out to the AZ diecast community. Yes indeed. The good ones anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who are about the cars, right? Absolutely. Raul, are you all about the cars? absolutely how do you oh, feel yeah. about people that like like what do you just like what's your honest opinion like what do you think of people that like you know just go out and try to make a living off of selling these things what do you think me um i, I don't see money um made in this hobby really um unless you don't have a job and you're at stores 24 7 waiting on drops um you you could do your best to, to find drops and try to get all the good stuff. But in all reality, you know, you might have that one employee in the back taking the stuff already. So then how, how are you going to um, be guaranteed that you're going to find something so you can sell that to make a living out of it? Um, there's just no, there's no profit in it. Um, gas is ridiculous. Um, the time and effort that you spend trying to uh, find this stuff is just not, it's not worth it to me. Um, yeah, there's scalpers out there, but all reality, I'm, I'm not going to buy from you. Uh, I'd rather just beat you, and I will. Um, <laughs> That's a good attitude to have. I, if, if you really want something and you won't be able to find it, okay, sure. But if you know, you're know you waiting on a basic mainline, uh, a Target Red Edition, a, a Zamac, uh, Dollar General, General Exclusive, you know, you you put a little bit of time and effort and you'll, you'll find it just patience and you'll find it. Yep. Absolutely. So I just want to give a quick shout out to John Lamley, who's in the house. Lamley group is in the house. Thank you for tuning in, John. It is a true pleasure to have you here. How's it going, uh, man? Yeah. freaking awesome, man. That is awesome. Thank you for being here. Uh, he says, uh, occasionally check the Safeway near my parents' house when I visit. That's about it. Um, yeah. Safeways. It's hit or miss. Hit or miss. I mean, this miss. year, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think you had a pretty huge hit at that at Safeways, didn't you? Or what, did you what was that? Big, did you have a big hit with, at, at Safeway? Yes, I did. I had a uh, the the wagon, the gassers, man. Um, yeah, me too. I found seven in that one in that one store. Crazy and, and good for you for leaving one too, because uh, man, I'm too. telling you, I, <laughs> I'm I telling you, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I got off work and uh, figured I'd check a couple Safeways because I saw people um, hitting on the gassers. So I'm like, okay, what the heck? So I go to a store and uh, there was six dump bins, eight dump bins full. And I'm like, oh no, I just got off of work. It's like four o'clock. It's been gone through. Let me, you know, let me dig around. And I think the first car, car I pulled off of one and the gasser super was just laying right there. And I'm like, oh, no, are you serious? Well, let me go grab a car and let me get through this. But, yeah, I found 11 supers in uh, one store. Nuts. That's insane. I wouldn't know I wouldn't know what to do. I probably <laughs> wouldn't be able to walk for a couple hours, <laughs> to be honest with you. I had you in my back of my head. Should I leave one? Should I leave that? Nah, I'm good. Nah. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first time I had a really huge hit was that was that 356 JK shipper where I found mm. five. 
found the five of those. Hit hard too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. found five of those after I went through so much trouble not being able to find that thing. Uh, yeah. But I had already found the first three previous. I found five. I left one of those, took four. Um, but yeah, I try my best not to cuss on camera and I couldn't help it. I just let it slip. I was just like, I was flipping out. I That's was like excitement, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we do this. I was wigging out. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> uh, Daniel Gutierrez, uh, what's up, man? Good to see you. It's been a long time. Says a lot of people make money off this hobby, which is a downside. Only way I ever ask for more than $1 is for customs. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, your, yeah. that, that's your time. That's your time and your effort being invested. So, Lamley is here and just dreaming. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, found two vets on the pegs on uh, one Thanksgiving 2020, I think. Nice. Nice. 2020. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, no. There's no 2020 vet. 2019, maybe. 2019. Mm -hmm. Had two vets. So. I don't think I found a super this year yet on the pegs. Yeah. Yeah. Have I? Well, they, now what, what counts, what classifies as being found on the pegs? If you're watching somebody stock and they put it on the peg, is that count on the peg? No, no, no. <laughs> Going in and, and right on the peg. Right, right, on, right the peg. on the peg. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Oh, I found one of the Bel Airs, one of the AK Bel Airs on the peg, okay. on, on the peg at a Walgreens. At a Walgreens. And that, was, and that was thanks to Vic. Vic gave me the heads up. I'm sure oh, he did. Oh, dang. I'm sure he did to you too, but he was like, "Hey, you, yeah, might, want to, yeah. you might want to check Walgreens again, AK send," and I hit him. Okay. Ended up finding the two that I found at those. Dang. Um. What else? Yeah, I mean, I guess you can consider the the 3.0 CSL. I found that in one of the Kroger shippers, the mix shippers. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's. Did you it. see? Did you see a lot of those shippers? I did. I saw a lot. A lot of them were duds, even for oh. the premium, even for the premium chase. Okay. No, I, I think I saw maybe two or three. They were okay. I found yeah. one of the Corvette, two of the Corvette premiums, and then one, uh, one BMW. But that was yeah. Tough. Yeah. I'm too crazy. Yeah, I mean, this year got off to a really tough start. <laughs> it's been really, really slow. It's really been tough start just with all the shipment, really shipment delays and all that stuff. It's just, it was out of this world hard. I was yeah. just like, no, I don't think I'm going to find any supers this year. <laughs> I was at that point. I was just like. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I think that, that comes with another uh, thing. I, I feel like if you, uh, if you really do your homework and you uh, see what's going on with the stores, um like fries it's been i think like the last time they got a big amount of boxes like this was three weeks ago with e-case mm -hmm. uh, did you see a lot of e-case out there at fries for this year yeah 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 okay yeah. so I, all duds all duds <laughs> e-case was rough um yeah but how many vets I did you like find? i found two three that's it Three. I found three of them. Mm. But uh, if you um, want to trade, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I I pretty much I'm like, I'm just like uh, e case for an e case. I, I well over twenty now. Well over twenty I, cases. I feel like it'll come back around, but like I said, I I got gotcha you if you need one. Um, but the thing is with these stores, I feel like they're all getting flooded at the same time. Mm. So if you got Kroger guys, now's the time because F is hitting crazy hard i think i've hit maybe about 50 cases of f um it, it's i think they're all coming in waves if one store gets something they're all going to get it at the same time um don't wait because who knows the next time they're going to get cases again um, it could be two three a month from now who knows and a lot and, of them uh, are, yeah a lot of them are getting tons of yes cases in. so that means the they're highest, getting, they're going to be sitting on them for a long time. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. up to 14 cases at one store. And that was at a marketplace. But 14 cases at a fries? Come on. Now. That's that's Walmart right there for you. Yeah. Multiples. Like multiple times with C case, with E case, with F case. C case. Yeah. C case like hit hard 14, too. Yep. Yeah. Like 14 
anywhere between 10 to 14 case drops. Just absolutely. Q, cool. did you see Q kind of like in the beginning of the year almost? Yeah. Like February, yeah, Q hit lot. hard. Uh, what was that? C, E, and F. Yeah. Maybe, maybe hopefully G, we'll see G. Maybe, but yes. we'll see. Oh, I want I want some more K for racers. <laughs> yes, I haven't found one yet. So I only got one, dude. I'm telling you, it is gorgeous. A lot of people are downplaying yeah. that super. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. Beautiful. It's, it's nice. It is beautiful. The theme is perfect on it. Um, but yeah, shout out to uh, uh, not Joe Ali. Uh, Joe Joe Eli Joey Eli. He calls it he he calls it the McCafe racer. <laughs> like how do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? The, the real... I, I used to call it coffer racer, but people okay. have, people have uh, corrected me and said it's Kafer. Kafer racer. racer. Okay. I guess. Yeah. It's I guess. a Volkswagen to me. I want it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, coffer <laughs> sounds more proper for like a German terminal terminology. But... Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Lamley says, can't remember what year only Arizona find. No idea how much that area is covered. No targets or Walmarts nearby. <laughs> yeah. Up in Utah. Up in uh, Utah. I've always wanted to go hunt up in Utah. I heard it's rough. I heard it's rough too, but it seems like I they got a really rough. good community up there. I'm on their oh, Facebook. Okay. I think I'm on. Gotcha. I think I'm still on their Facebook group. Uh, Eric says Lamley's channel is how I know what is what's up and coming. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. The earliest that comes for sure. Now, now let me ask them um, since they're on here, if they're watching, uh, what do they think about the NFTs? Um, have you seen the NFTs coming out from uh, the first series garage? I believe. Have oh, you seen yeah. any of those cars, Derek? I've seen some, yeah, and it looks like it looks like a really good deal. But uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't don't really know anything about them. So, mm. gotcha. Something about hey. virtual or stuff like that, and I'm just like, yeah. I, 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 I guess know. they come in a pack. You got to buy a pack, and then uh, it's like a mystery pack, and whatever car you get is what you get, and if you have no get a, a rarity of a premium or higher you'll actually get the physical car itself oh so okay. you you would have to trade in that nft i don't know what they do with that nft i don't know if you keep it or they burn it um but uh you'll trade that in for the physical copy of the car yeah so and and if vic is still in here man he got a this last uh nft uh he actually got the gasser the that gasser everybody is going after so you go vic yeah vic. Go, <laughs> <laughs> my man uh daniel says i feel it's too difficult to find stuff on the east side it is very hard over here but raul west side is no different i bet um yeah it's uh i've been to the east side and i told myself i'll never go out there again um <laughs> boy um, now where at though mesa, uh, mesa chandler went, gilbert yeah. I went all over the place. I did. Uh, I took the 10 all the way down and I can't remember. There was a fries uh, all the way down there. Um, it had to have been Chandler, maybe Gilbert area. There's a fries way out there. Um, I caught a lady restocking. Um, it was, I want to say it was H case 2020, the, the red, the red uh, Audi. Um, mm -hmm. She had four cases, but they were all deads. But boy, I'll tell you what, nah, never again. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at you saying, how in the heck does he do this on the west side? And he's probably looking at me saying, how in the heck do you do that on the yes, east side? Yes, right? exactly. Right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's Arizona's tough, guys. I'm telling it, you guys. A lot is. of you guys have said, man, you live in a honey hole. I promise you I don't. I promise you Raul doesn't either. We just. There's collectors everywhere around here. around here. It's yeah. just. I've been doing this so long. I feel like the best thing that I've done that has helped me a lot too. Um, be consistent. Um, be nice. Be friendly. Um, like I, I, like Derek. I'm not a shy person. I'll go up to anybody and ask anything. I'm, I'm not ashamed. I don't. I don't care. It's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. um, I, if you tell me no, I'm gonna go over to the next employee and be like, hey, like, hey, can what was up with that? I don't, I don't know. Do you guys have something back there? If he tells me no, then I'll come back and get and try tomorrow. But routine, I got a, yes, I'm the mailman. I do got a little route, I guess you can say <laughs> of my fries out here. Um, but I'll check them every, every day that I'm off every Sunday uh, open and uh, I'll hit my five, 10 stores that I go to 
and see what's going on. I'll, I'll even chit chat with the employee and see how they're doing, how they've been. And if we've been growing relationships, I guess you could say, um, all over these little hot wheels. And, and if they do were to have something, I'll offer to stock it up for them. I'll help clean up a little bit. Um, but yeah, be consistent be nice to these people. Um, they don't want to be there. They, they want to go home, you know, they want to get done as fast as they can and, and go home. They don't want to help you find a little toy, you know, so be friendly people. Um, that's all I can really say and be consistent and say, hi, don't be a weirdo. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That too. That doesn't help. And if they let you, if they let you go through a fresh case, you know, and you take your stuff out, I tell you what, this is one thing that bothers me when, when, when I ask them for cases and they bring me a case, but it's been gone through the cars are all standing up all over the place and like, just yeah. kind of like thrown back in there. Oh Put yeah. Them back in there. Nice. Fold them three by three. Yes. Give it, to, give it back to them the way that they gave it back to you. Or, or put them up for them. Ask. Or, yeah. If, if they insist that you don't then clean up the case and just, just give it yeah. back to them the way they gave it back to you. Absolutely. All common sense stuff, guys. All yeah. common sense. Um, so here's a good question for you. Cause you probably, you're probably familiar with this as well. Some people look down on people cracking cases. Why do you crack cases? Um, why do I crack cases? That's, that's a good question. Um, or, not, or, or ask the crack, crack cases. Why do you do it? I, I don't know. That is a great question. I, I started, um, I started the hobby cracking cases. Um, I, I don't really, uh, see it any other way. Um, I think it was a couple of weeks after I met up with you, I found two more Audis and a Porsche um, because I asked the lady and she was nice enough to just bring it out to me. So I figured that's just what everybody did. Um, and then obviously I saw that people at Walmart, you know, would go pallet ride and just take stuff off the pallets. You know, uh, obviously that's not a good thing to do, but I'll, I'll be the person to ask first. Absolutely. Um, but that's how I learned this, uh, how I got started. I haven't been collecting as long. I've only, I got into the Hot Wheels in 2020. Um, so I haven't been collecting as long, but I, I, I don't know. I, I started cracking cases as soon as I started hunting. I see nothing wrong with it. True. And the way that I explain it is if I didn't ask, for, if I didn't ask if they had anything else in the bag, if I just, because some people think that you're a purist hunter if you just go into the store, look, and if they don't got it, then you leave and you move on. That's just the okay. perception that some people have. But people like you and I that love collecting supers, you know, we okay. love finding supers. And not because we want money for them, but because we genuinely enjoy finding them. Oh, yeah. We would be going months at a time without finding supers. I think yeah. when I, I think when, when you and I met, I think which was in, that was in 2020, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, I think I was just getting into that point when we met where I, I was just starting to get into asking people. Cause I used to do that. I used to go into the store, check out what they had. And if they didn't have anything, I would leave. But then I started mm -hmm. noticing when I, I would go into that same store, like maybe the next day or even later that day. Yeah. They didn't have anything out and I would go back in. The pigs would be yeah. full, but it'd be full. all pictures. So I'm like, yeah. Oh my God, what the heck? Yep. And uh, I've also learned, too, that uh, scalpers are going to ask, too. Um, so what? what's it to them to ask? And I, why can't I ask? What's, what's the difference exactly. there, you know? Exactly. Um, that, that's another thing about, you know, connecting with uh, your local collectors and, um, and networking with each other. Because, uh, okay, uh, buddy over here can't find nothing. Okay, I got you. Don't worry about it. Here, here you go. Here, have a super on me. Don't worry about it. I got you. I, you know, I found three today. Here's one. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, but instead, you know, a scalper will go ask and they want 100 bucks for a super. It's just not. I, I'd rather find all the supers and give them away than find no supers and have nothing to show. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, my, my typical, my typical time frame between super finds. You, before I started asking my typical typical time frame, mm -hmm. I would find a super every every other month, one super mm -hmm. every other month. Swear to God, <laughs> it was like clockwork. Two months, I I would find a super, 
Next month, we wouldn't find a super. And then the following month after that, during some time, I would find another super. Yeah. And that's just not good enough for me. <laughs> that's not good <laughs> enough, you know? And like, and, and like you said, you said this perfect, bro. You said this perfect. The scalpers do the same thing. So if we don't play their game in that aspect, yeah. we're just going to strike out and lose every single every single friggin' time. Yeah. Every single friggin' time we're going to lose Absolutely. out. So and, we're and, and how many cases did you crack yesterday? Didn't find anything. Do you, do you count the two one ninety two dumps at Walmart? I'll, that, I'll count them. <laughs> so what? So two. So two and a half in each one of those. So five cases right there, and then thirteen cases at Fry's. So yeah, there you go. 18, yeah. 18 cases, not we, one single super. It, it, Instagram, YouTube. We might glamorize the fact that we find supers. You know, we make it look easy. But really, you know, how much time do you spend out there usually when 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 you when you have time? Man, I mean, with this work schedule, I'm I'm definitely hitting some stores on the way home. That's all okay. I can promise now. Got gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> on a on a Sunday, I'll I'll get up five thirty, five fifteen in the morning. Um, if the Mustang Hunter was listening, he'll he'll test to this. We'll we'll meet up at the same store at, at six in the morning when they open. Yeah. And I'll go to about ten, eleven, maybe twelve if stores are hitting. Um maybe sometimes we won't find nothing. And granted, I won't post if I won't find nothing, but if I find that one, I'll I'll post it. And yes, it looks easy. But it's 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 uh it's hard. It's hard to find stuff out here. Especially yeah. when you get thirteen dead cases, like, come on, really? <laughs> Absolutely. That's the stuff they don't see on Instagram and YouTube is all the failures. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I posted a lot of videos like that in the beginning. I was just like, I don't think people want to see me striking out all the time. You know yeah, what I mean? Well, <laughs> yep, yep. Maybe they do. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it seems like people like to see you find stuff. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, that's I can totally understand the perception that it gives away. Like, man, these guys find everything all the friggin' time. Every episode yep. they're finding a super. But you got like I tell like I tell people, like the footage that you see on this episode is probably two to three weeks old. Like worth, I'm worth of stuff, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. worth of worth of stuff. So it's like yeah. trust me, there's lots of Ooh. there's lots of dud hits, lots of dud cases in between. It's yeah, yeah it's bad. <laughs> Static crispy saying, What's up? What's up, Raul? What's up, Derek? What's, what's going up? on, man? What's up, little brother? Hope you're finding something. Long hair don't care. <laughs> we post those duds. <laughs> Easy toy hunter skills. <laughs> what up, Mike? Shout out, Mike, man. Let me yeah, tell you what... about this guy, bro. Let me tell you about this guy. This right. guy, he done sent me a picture of Auto World, of the Camaro, the new wave Camaro coming out. He sends me a regular white Camaro, another white Camaro, and then there's a raw chase. So it's all gray with the white wheels on it. And he goes and sends me a message, and he says, "Hey, what's wrong with this one?" I'm like, "Uh, I I immediately Facetimed him. I try to get a hold of him. I was like, please don't tell me you left that. Please grab that. You need to grab that, <laughs> and you need to keep it because you found just one of ten out of the whole world." Oh, he found a raw. He yeah, found a raw. The raw chase. He found it. He didn't know what he had. But I'm like, man, please go get that, buy that, and, and hold on to it. <laughs> Wait, now, 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 which one was it? Which raw was it? The, it was the Camaro, the ZL1, oh, the, the white Camaro. Camaro. Yeah. yeah, man, sweet car, man. I'll tell you what, I would crap my pants if I found I, – I crap my pants when I found the, the Ultra Red Supra. But if I found oh, a okay. raw Supra, yes. if I found a yes. raw – Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Dude. And talk about scalping that one. You're right. Yeah, G, straight off the bat. G. Yeah. G, my, my good friend uh, Pia, Mad Visions, he was lucky enough to acquire, I think he traded like five Supers for it. That's it. Oh, damn. Okay. That's a deal. I would do that. that any day yeah, I would do that too. Yeah. For absolutely. a raw Supra. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. So let's go through the chat and just answer a couple of questions. And then if you want, we'll talk about this subject together that we're going to bring up. Let's do it. You ever seen people promote scalping? Have I seen people promote scalping? Hmm. Because if you haven't, you're about to. I don't know. <laughs> That's a, I don't know. I I don't know. It's it's bananas. Hmm. 
B A N A N A S. What What would you define as promoting scalping? Oh, I don't know. Making an Instagram post and saying, "Hey guys, you can go out there and get these for one dollar and flip them for at least sixty bucks." So get well, out there and go go find them. What about TikTok? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really watched too many TikTok uh, diecast they're, videos. They're on there. Are they? Are they? Well, what about what about the coupon groups? I've seen those on there too. Oh man, I try to stay away, man. I try to stay away. Because yeah, like but for the most for the most part, I just sit there and laugh nowadays. But still, if I yeah. see too much of it, I start to get pissed off, and I'm like, dude, I don't want. I don't even want to see this crap. You, I really don't. You know, uh, another thing to scalping too. Um, I feel like if you're not out there, if you just leave your house on a random weekday, random weekend, random time, and you go to Walmart, you go to Target, you go anywhere that has diecast, and you expect to find something like a Super, a Chase, or anything like that, you need you're already doing this wrong. You got you got to stop. You you can't. I feel like a lot of people don't put in the time or the effort. And they immediately get mad, frustrated, and just completely, you know, this is horrible. This is bad. Um, I don't, I don't know how you guys do this. Uh, no one should be taking this stuff for that. Blah blah blah. Um, you, you just got to stop right there. If you're not doing that kind of homework or or due di diligence to going out to the stores and looking to see what's going on, you, you don't do that to yourself because it's it's not a good look for the community and it's not good for you to go through all that stress is not worth it. And people just need to stop, lower their expectations a little bit. And um, I'll, I'll promise you, you'll have a lot more fun if you're not expecting to go find a super every single day. That's it. Uh, that's super well said. I love that. Yeah. Just like I, I think I said, it might've said it on the last live stream, go out and expect not to find it. Yeah. You yep. find it. That's yep. a bonus. Like Absolutely. know what you're looking for, but yep. don't expect to find it. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, that's, <laughs> If you are, you're most likely setting yourself up for a lot failure, of anger, a lot of anger, and a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah, trust me, trust oh, me yeah. we've been there. We've been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Easy Toy Hunters Guild definitely people promote it and defend it. There are dedicated IG accounts dedicated to reselling. Yep, I found one. Yeah, there's there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Eric was also asking you if you're going to get up and go hunt early tomorrow. He said he'll go with you. I'll 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 be up. Um, if you're local. Um, I'll tell you the store I'll be at at six in the morning. I'll be at the store off Verado and Jackrabbit. Uh, I think the cross streets are Jackrabbit and Indian School in Verado. Uh, I'll be there at six a.m. Careful, we got some Arizona viewers in here. They might be there with you. <laughs> I hope they are. And, and then another thing too about these collectors here too, man. Um, I see a lot of people when they go down the aisles and look at Hot Wheels. Um, I'm the type of person that I'm going to match your energy. Um, if you're looking at a certain thing a certain way, and, and, and if I say hi to you and you say hi a certain way, I'm going to give you the same energy back to you. Um, I'm not going to tell you who what I'm doing or what I'm looking at. Um, but if you come up to me and you're friendly and nice, we'll have a conversation. Um, let's try to be nicer to each other out there, guys. Um, there's no need to fight over these toys. Um, end of the day, they're toys. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of people, a lot of, uh, I try to talk to them and they're just very, very um, tippetoeing, um, don't want to talk to you. They don't want to know what you're doing. Um, and if that's the case, I'm going to be the same way. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm a very friendly, outgoing guy. I'll tell you anything you want to know. It's not a secret. Um, it shouldn't be a secret, um, but it, let's be nice to each other out there. If you, if you guys see each other, if you see me out there, say, what's up? <laughs> it's all love. I love it. I love it. That's well-spoken. Yeah. I've gone into some stores and I, I swear to God, man, you some can people almost... are just really rude. It's yeah. Just, I, don't, I don't get it. But... And nine out of 10 times, even if you don't know the person, you've never seen the person hunt for obvious, you can almost always tell who it is. They're speed walking into the store. Oh yeah, and then you follow them, and they're they're taking the exact route and target going down that main aisle, and then they cut that right, and they're moving. <laughs> yep, yep. It's like you you already know, but it's like yeah, man. I've ran into some people. I yeah, it's just mind blowing, mind blowing how friggin' mean they were. Like yep. 
Like I'm their worst enemy. Like, you know, yeah, we might be looking for the same thing, but I don't wish you any harm. We're just happen to be looking for the same thing. Same you know, thing, it's like, right. yeah. you know, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's mind blowing. I, I don't get it. I, I like a fairly little competition, but uh, <laughs> it's just cars. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Some people no take it too far. Ain't, ain't no reason to get salty about it. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I mean, most of the time, you got lots of chances to find that thing over and over again. Oh, yeah. Supers, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce says, that's exactly why I steer clear of those posts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Probably talking about them reselling posts or them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eric White, off question. Um, do you clear coat after rattle can or spectral flame? Do you clear coat before or after decals? So... Yes, I clear coat, but I clear coat after water slides. So I'll do the spectra flame, put the decals on, clear coat, boom, done. Speaking of, have you got have you touched it, uh, gotten into customs, bro? I, I don't know. Uh, I better not. <laughs> <laughs> um, Already invested enough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I I don't have the patience for it. Um, I don't have the patience to take it all apart, put it back together, paint it. Um, I'll screw something up. Oh, it's um, so much, it's so much fun. I'd rather just leave it the way it is. <laughs> it's so much fun though. But in a way that kind of makes me glad because I've been meaning to build you a custom. I actually have you on my list. You're just still a little ways away, but. You're good. It's all good. I, I got something I'm making for you and I hope you like it. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Uh, Lamley says, I just didn't, I enjoy the random find. Yeah. Yeah. Just like going into a store and just finding something that you just did not expect to be there, whether it be yes. like an old case or an old boulevard mix or yep. an old transport mix. Like, you know, what's a good, you know, you know where's a really good place for that, believe it or not? Um, Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, yeah, into, yeah. I went into a Barnes & Noble recently and I didn't have my camera on me or else I would have filmed it. But I found a transport mix from like last year. Last year, wow. Yeah, like like two of them out of a mix. I can't remember which ones they were, but okay. I was like mind blown. I was like, "What the heck are these doing here, man?" Uh, another a crazy find that I had uh, uh, not that long ago. I went down to Sierra Vista. And yes, I, yes. Uh, Sierra Vista. How was that? It, it it was all right. I didn't go down there. I went to go visit some family. Um, mm. But on the way there and the way back, you know, you stop at your local, you know, uh, pilot. I loves travel centers stuff like that you know yeah uh, i stopped at one and they had they had hot wheels they had green light and there was a raw green light chase on the on the pegs and a uh, greenie on on the pegs so uh oh. de definitely check your gas stations you never know that was out of loves yeah the pilot i think it was a pilot it was a pilot wow i didn't yeah. know pilot carried carried diecast Pilot loves one of the two. I don't know. I get them confused. Did you see that? Uh, <laughs> did, did you see that episode? It was from last year, or might might have been the year before too, where I stopped at a Loves and I found three greenies. I only knew that the two of them are greenies, and I left a full body greenie. Oh, you left three of them. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Jeez. But so I found two down on the farm greenies, but which yeah. are the tractors. Okay. I was like, I know that those are greenies because they have. Uh, the the canopies the rops were green and the wheels were green i was like those gotcha. are green i know that for a fact but i grabbed a police car and i looked at it and i left it and it was a full body greenie a i didn't full body green yeah. yeah. like, oh. those are some of those are tricky you know because sometimes they'll have the undercarriage green or mm -hmm. the wheels green it's just i don't know it's it just... was like bright metallic green and oh. i just i didn't know i didn't know <laughs> i was like oh man that's crazy and, uh, and shout out Shout out my man Dykaz does. He's another one on Instagram. Um, uh, I want to say he's a little bit more on the reselling side, um, but shout out to my man. Well, I, I would like to get his perspective of uh, scalping because uh, I know he likes to resell and stuff. But uh, let's see what you say, man. What, what do you think about scalping, brother? Yeah, Dykaz does. What do, what do you, what and and now an another question on the scalping side. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you you want to sell a vehicle, right? Let's say you want to sell a super, you want to sell a super, you know, look it up on eBay, 60 bucks, whatever. But what about raffling on Instagram? What, what What's up with raffling on a, on Instagram? Is that the same as same level of scalping or? 
Mm, I'm just, I, I don't, I don't dig it. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't dig raffles. I don't dig, you know what I do dig? And this is why we allow it on our Facebook group, mm -hmm. live auctions and silent auctions. Okay. The reason, the reason why is because it puts, it puts the, the, the buying power in the buyer's hand, not the seller's. Like if, if oh, you, okay. like, I see what say, like if I was to post this EK super up, and I yeah. want 150 bucks for it, and I'm not taking any less. 150 bucks. That's it. Mm -hmm. But if I were to put that up for like a live auction or a silent auction, people can bid on it, and they can bid on it and go up, and then they do, they get to decide how they much they want to pay for. Price. It. Right. That I'm okay with. That I'm okay with. But it's okay. just if you ask me, the whole raffles and just all that stuff, just not me. No, man, it's not for me either. I hate losing money. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, granted, I I know some people. A couple of my mods are active on on auction pages, and they get some crazy stuff for some crazy good price. But just like you, I know yeah. I'm going to lose the money because I just don't have any luck with gambling yep. or whatsoever. Yep. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. And like I said, it's just not my thing. I'd rather go out and find it. That's just me, you know. Yep. Absolutely. I know you're the same. Uh, Eric White, what? Sorry, what is a raw again? So M2 has raw. Yep. Uh, Greenlight has raw, as well. Yep. And Auto World have raw, and they are usually the hardest of the hard to find. They're basically, they're basically Auto World, Greenlight, and M2's version of Hot Wheels Zamax, but mm -hmm. as, as in they're they're a, they're a bare finish, a bare metal finish, but they're chases. And they are extremely hard to find. And as far as I know, the Auto World Raws, in major manufacturer perspective, like main, main, main manufacturers of diecast, they are the hardest to find because they are limited. Is it is it one through ten? It's it, it's one of ten per mix, right? Yeah, I think so it's like yeah, one so of like ten. Limited. Yeah. So like, say like. Say like with the with the Auto World Super, they have the red one. Mm -hmm. There's going to be ten raws in the world of that one. Of that that, that particular cast again. Yeah, of yeah, that yeah. one, right? And then yeah. when they change to the black card, there's going to be ten. There's going to be ten of those somewhere yep. in the world. So yeah, mm -hmm. if it's true, it's because some people have questioned it. Some people have questioned: Is that even true? You know, is it maybe it's ten per state? Maybe it's ten per world? We don't know. But even if it's ten per state. That's hard to find. Yeah, hard <laughs> That's to find. Yes. maybe hard as hell to yep. find. So Absolutely. yeah, as far as I know, the Auto World Raws are the hardest to find. Uh, I know a lot of people. I know you probably have have found M2 Raw. I've never found one. I I have yet to find an M2 Raw really? and an Auto World Raw. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah. In five years, hard. Of, yeah. In five years of collecting, I found three Auto World or three M2 chases. Nice. Okay. And I found. Two two greenie or technically five greenies, but left one without. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four greenies, <laughs> uh, two auto world reds, and three M two chases. That's it. That's all I've ever found. That's pretty good because I think I'm in the same boat. I haven't found very much of the auto world or any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? okay, Des. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, Des, he he finds supers in the most congested stores there could be. Oh, it's just it's, it's insane how he's pulling them. I don't I don't get it. I, I yeah. I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So so Lamley's chiming in and saying ten is all they make. I can verify that. So wow. If That's Lamley says insane. there's only 10 wow. in the world per mix, I believe it. Because <laughs> if anybody knows for sure, it's him. That's for sure. We only like raffles when we win, though. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'll join those. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bullet 76, Auto World Raw, super rare. Yep. Yep. Wow. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's pretty much verified. Uh, mm -hmm. That yeah. Uh, Lamley also says, and only for retail, occasionally the Miho, but not for the hobby. Hmm. Yeah, Skip says, dang. <laughs> well, that's cool. 
I don't know how that would work though. The the auto world Raws, the crew, uh, the auto world crew, crew never sees them. If if he if Lamley's saying what I think he's saying, that would be great. If Hot Wheels was the same way with supers, the crews never saw them. Like they had That'd like their sweet. own special dedicated insert team or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that would prevent a lot of factory theft, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. That's bananas, man. That's bananas. Did you see, um, I think it was either last live or the live before, I showed a screenshot from a Facebook group. And the guy was like, it was like a post, and the guy was like, um, yeah, all the guys at the Hot Wheels factory are just stuffing them in their pockets. And then another guy responds after that and says, that's what my guy does. Oh, wow. And then a guy below him says, another guy below him says, if you've been in this hobby long enough, you can make connections at the factory. And I'm just like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> I'm serious right now. I don't know. That's just, I was doing a lot. I don't know, man. That's, it that's sucks. crazy to me. It but, sucks. So how do you I feel about that? market for it. People buy. It's crazy. It's unfortunate, but you are absolutely right. Yeah. But how do you feel about that? Like, like, what's the first thing that hits your mind when you see, I don't know. Lamborghini Miras right now loose being sold on raffle pages and I think someone was mentioning about the uh the other uh, fox body the um, fox body people are selling them loose for 40 bucks already I'm like yeah and okay. and, and, and what wow. case what what case is that out of again I have no idea I think it's M or N something yeah something like that later on in the year but that's not that's not out anywhere in the world no. guys no. that's not out anywhere in the world the latest case that we know of right now is it's either in Europe or South Africa is getting J and K right now. J and K, yeah. I haven't checked with my Aussie buddies. I don't know what they're getting over there right now. But if it's anything past J and K, whether it's Carter or Loose, you can guarantee that that thing was yanked right out of the factory. Oh, no yeah. Does. Patience. Patience is key. Yeah, there's you. Josh right there. Fox Body is M case, so yeah. Case. Yeah, we're not even close right now. Yeah. Yeah, static. I think it's M case. It's M case. I forgot what P, I forgot what P case was supposed to be. I think that Golf thirty two Ford is supposed to be Q case. That's going to be the last one. Oh wow! Yeah, have that's you seen that? Scalped. <laughs> no. <laughs> that don't get. Scalped. And you know, and you know what's funny? If it was just a thirty two Ford, like a mainline or whatever, yeah, people mm-hmm. wouldn't care less. I think the thirty two Ford is really cool. Yeah. But just because it's a super and it has golf on it, guaranteed, uh, 150, yeah. 200 bucks, easy, yeah. right off the bat. Uh, Eric White asking, "Did you get H case yet?" Yeah, saw some today. Saw a good, a good amount today. Finally, I think right, right, you found some, right? I found scraps at a uh, at Target today. Some scraps. I, I haven't just fantasy castings. Yeah. But... Josh with I the think... suit. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I think uh, H case is hitting uh, Walmart pretty hard tonight or last night. I saw some people finding some stuff tonight or um, last night. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go camp out. I'm just, nah, just asking. It's, it's not, not worth it to me to go to Walmart. It's, it's not my it's thing. Just... Uh, Josh putting us on with the super uh, game. Uh, Audi is in. I remember that one. Yeah. I, I'm excited for that one. Yeah. I, I do like that. That, as... that one's all black, right? I believe so. I believe it's going to be a black mainline with the, you know, the smoked chrome or whatever. Mm-hmm. Super. Lamley, not worth it. If you have stolen supers and you sh- and you've shown them on social, uh, on social, Mattel knows whether or not they act is up to them. But I promise they know. There you you, you would think they would go uh, after after people like that because uh, that's that's money making off of their company, no. Exactly, but exactly. I don't. I have no idea. (laughs) I mean, the only people that's really benefiting is the people that run these raffles that sell them. You know, I mean, even the collectors that win those raffles or nothing, they're paying an arm and a leg just to get it. I mean, they're not. They're getting the card that they want, but you could have just waited and gone out and tried to find it. To be honest with you, or try to trade for it. And as mentioned. 
Mattel only makes a certain amount of supers. So when they get taken out of the cases from the factory, mm -hmm. it's just going to make them that much harder to find in the wild. Yeah. They're already hard to find. Because a lot of people hunt them and a lot of people don't leave them. <laughs> a oh, lot yeah, of people absolutely. don't leave them. Yeah. That is for sure. Y'all see they're already coming out with 2023 supers. I have not. Have you seen any leaks on 2023 supers? Uh, I think they were saying about the Batmobile, the little tuned Batmobile. It's going to be like a cherry red. Oh, dang Chrome it. wheels. We're getting a fantasy super. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. It's cute. It's, it's cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been such a long time since they came out with a fantasy casting super. That's disappointing. <laughs> sorry for anybody who likes Batman. I'm sorry, but I like real cars. <laughs> I like real cars. <laughs> Willie says, found an M2 Raw hanging just right on the front peg. Damn, yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a find. Lucky dog. They are pretty. Right. I saw one up at Cubbyhole today, and I was like, dang, that is pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is pretty. Uh, skips, me too. Us too. Hopefully, they're trying to do something about it. Talking about Mattel with the uh, factory theft. I, I They got their hands tied on so many things, though. Um, even, like, let's, let's take a look at the bots. Um. Oh, that's awesome. That's good to know. Let's let's ask Thanks, Lamley, what about the uh the box for ROC? Um, do you know if they're doing anything about about that? Um, because man, some of this like the bait car, who who went who tried to get a bait car uh, a couple of weeks ago and it was sold out in 15, 20 seconds. There's there's no way of getting acquiring that car anyway. Mm. You know what I'm not looking forward to? Is trying to get that Chrome R34. On the that's gonna be a nightmare <laughs> and that's like that's like my must have this like yes. i just want the dots in as bad as i want that i want that car so bad so bad and and about the dots and people lost their freaking minds over it not being numbered lost their minds yeah i mean it's it's pretty it's cool but i don't know you got one didn't you Yes, yes, absolutely. Does, your, does yours have a massive panel gap on the hood? Yes. Yeah, yeah. they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad. It's too bad. I, I love you, Mattel, but... Oh. Yeah. Man, John, very active in the chat. Thank you, Mr. Lamley. Appreciate you. Again, it's a pleasure having you here. Dropping some knowledge. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good to see. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vic says he's still waiting for his thoughts to be shipped. Wow. Wow. If, well, if, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Because did you get the email where it was like uh, back ordered? Yeah. It was mm -hmm. automatically back ordered. Yep. And mine was mine was ETA'd for June. I got mine a couple weeks ago. But yeah. I, I, I got mine today. Today. Really? You got yours just yes. today? I wow. got mine just today. Yes. There we Just go. Today. There you we want go. to see the hood gap? Yep. Let's let's show our hood gaps. <laughs> let's, let's see if uh, it'll show on there. Oh yeah, loud and clear. <laughs> Telling you, but it's loud okay though. Clear. It's okay. Loud and though. clear. <laughs> I'll, I'll have the hood up. I'll just leave it up. Loud and clear. Yeah, a little disappointing. I love the car. Don't get yes. me wrong. I I love the car. Just. Yeah, a little, little disappointing. That, that's all. That's all. Just a little disappointing. But yeah, you you want to get frustrated? Definitely uh, become a member and try to get that ROC that everybody wants. Um, <laughs> you're gonna learn real quick. Yeah, you're gonna learn today. <laughs> you're gonna learn real quick. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't want to know. Willie says, in every square owner, how much hood bend you got, mate? They got some problems with some bent hoods. Oh, the squares, the square bodies, like uh, M2s? Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I don't know. This one's pretty good. It's not bad. I don't know if you can see it very good or not, but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. with the case, but yeah. 
man, poor squares, man. I just, oh, man, I swear. I've seen them with wheels missing. I've seen, you know, and. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You know, I'm not a square collector, but I can honestly say I've seen some that I definitely wouldn't mind having. I wouldn't mind having that hauler one that has no bed on it. You probably know which one I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yes. Hey, and do, you want, do you want one? <laughs> do you want one? <laughs> do you want one? That's it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at I that. don't know. Maybe maybe you should have told Vic. Look at that. Do you, do you want one? Dang, dude, you got a chase. You got two chases. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. Like I said, I uh, Vic Jeez. found the other one, and uh, he said, uh, oh, I'll trade me a couple supers. I said, okay, you got it. Dude, beast. I told so, you guys Vic, Vic, beast. That was Vic. <laughs> I told you he's a beast. <laughs> yeah, he, he really is. Oh, he's out damn. there. I get you. I'm telling you guys, get you guys a toy friend, and look for their toys, and they'll look for you guys too. Believe me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ain't no wrong. Ain't, ain't no problem with making friends. <laughs> They're static. I'm telling y'all, Raul's a beast. <laughs> oh, stop it! Anyone can do it. Just gotta um, put your time. You just got to put your time in. Do your homework. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. You got to put in the work. Nobody's going to spoon feed you die cast unless, mm -hmm. you, unless you put empl employees on payroll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing that. And don't do that. Don't mm -hmm. do that. I ain't doing that. Nobody do that. Uh, Willie says you can bend the hood by pressing on it. Poorly stamped sheet metal. I'll just leave it the way it is. I'm not touching it. <laughs> He's like, I ain't touching it, bro. No. He's like, if I touch this thing, it's going to blow up. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna, yes. It's just yep. going to blow into a million pieces. It's just going to fall apart. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's let's get into our, our topic. We're, we're at two hours already. Let's get into... Uh, I'm glad you're here. I think this would be a really good thing to talk about because it's kind of what we were, we were uh, touching on. Let me see if I can bring this up real quick. Um... Share, share screen, window, nope, Chrome tab, nope, I'm going to have to share the screen probably. Okay, I'm probably going to have to just share the entire screen. It's going to look really funky for a second, just give me a second. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Twilight Zone. <laughs> okay. So I'll bring that one up right there. And then let me come back to this. That one. Oop. Okay. Can you see this, bro? Um, let me see if I can. Kinda. Legible. Somewhat A legible. Bit. I'm yes. sharing the screen. I'm sharing the screen. So if I go back to check on it, it's just going to look all funky again. Okay. But hopefully you guys can see this. So this was shared to me uh, by Frank Camacho. He was like, check this out, man. You got to see this. So here's an Instagram post. I'm not even going to blare out the, the name or whatever. I don't care. Probably some of you guys are already subscribed to these people. But here on this left side right here, the pictures of the coffee racers. So it shows you a picture of a coffee, ra coffee racer super. And then these three right here. And below it says, next time you're at Target, look out for these, tr these, <laughs> look out for this treasure hunt edition Hot Wheels Volkswagen. That doesn't sound like anybody that knows anything about die cast to me. That I'm just saying. <laughs> Could have just said, yeah. check out the super. Oh yeah. Uh, costs $1 sells for up to 60 easy on eBay. Our team has been on the hunt for these since last month. And then kind of down below before it cuts off, it says, want to gain access on the latest flips and investment opportunities? Fill out our application through the link. What the? <laughs> like, really, what are we reading are, right now? Like, are seriously? we doing stocks or are we doing Hot Wheels? Right? Right? What are we doing here, guys? <laughs> and then I'll move this over. Hopefully you, can, you guys can see this too. In the comments below, somebody, somebody, responded with a very good response and if i was on instagram this is exactly what i would have said get a real job instead <laughs> yeah 
Don't flip that cast. So yeah, you can see a lot of people in here. Um, like this guy says, great tip. Thank you. And his name is love to be selling. So yeah. Mm. Uh, and then the person that replied below that comment says, you can have a real job and be a collector. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure what they meant by that. It sounds good, but it sounds bad at the same time. It sounds like you can have a real job and be a flipper. I think that's what they were trying to say. So it's just kind of what I'm thinking. But yeah, what do you think about that, Raul? People, I, people... I, I don't know. What, what I, I don't know. Let, let's uh, with, with COVID, a lot of people were home, bored, not doing anything. Um, some people probably weren't making money, um, and probably looked elsewhere to make a couple extra bucks here and there. And uh, you know, rant, randomly on Instagram, and you stumble up up on these things and. Like uh, Amazon, um, how many times have you seen um, go to the clearance aisle at Walmart and scan, the, grab the Amazon app, scan the barcode, and see how much it's selling for on Amazon, and buy them all there and sell them on Amazon. I see. So, I, I see a lot of people. I, how many times have you? Just a quick side side thing. How many times have you gone into an aisle and seen people with Hot Wheels in one hand and their phone in the other? Yeah, yeah that and that too. All the time. But I feel like it's just obviously they were trying to sell some other kind of gimmick or, you know, join this class and do this, do that. They're probably trying to sell something else. But the average person to go find a super nowadays. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> good luck with that. Exactly. <laughs> so, I, uh, but it's out there. It's definitely is out there. And, uh, and at this point, it's only going to get harder. I feel like. I mean, people just going into this, just thinking that they can make a crap ton of money off of it. And it's just, yeah, they're going to find out the hard way that you're just making chump change. You're making about enough to really just maybe cover your gas. And if that, nowadays, you, you, you know. would have to, like, like I said, on the, on the last live, you would have to be pushing some serious yeah. volume mm -hmm. to make enough money to live off of, to pay your bills, to pay your car, pay your mortgage, pay your ele electric bill, pay your phone bill. Yep. And pay for your gas and then also pay for the die cast that you're picking up to flip and sell. It's just not worth it to me. It's just not worth it. And by, by the time you're already at that level, I mean, cause, cause what do you think is a safe amount of, to say that you can live off of four grand a month? Nowadays, nothing happens. Probably, <laughs> nowadays, probably like 4,500 to five grand. Yeah. Maybe, you know, yeah, um, maybe. So at that point, it's like, why not just get your business license? Yeah. Yeah. And open up a small shop where you buy, sell, trade, you know, like Cubbyhole Collectibles. That's that's a die cast shop. Yeah. And then maybe one day work towards being a Mattel distributor, like NJ Toys, like one stop die cast. You know, just do it legit. <laughs> I, and, I, and another thing about J Car Diecast, um, I work for the yeah, post office. So I'm, I'm, a ma I'm a mailman. I've seen the stickers I've delivered packages with those J car die casts to people. So people are on their buying from, from the, from the, from them, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately I think hopefully I'm not the cause of this, but on the last live stream, I was like, you know, support your die cast shops, support your die cast distributors, you know, instead of paying, do you know how much the R34, Mountain Drifter, the regular one. Do you know how much the average going price for that is right now? I think I last saw it was 50-ish range. Yeah. 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 Like I found one on Mercari for 28 plus shipping. Okay. That's the yeah. cheapest one I've ever seen. But other than that, it's 40, 50. I've even seen 65 or 62 yep. for a regular premium. And for one. For one. You can go on AJ Toys and pick up a case of mountain drifters, which is two complete sets. That's what a case is, is two complete with sets. With a chance of a chase. With a chance of a chase for $55 plus shipping. So you're looking at maybe 70 bucks. Yeah. It sounds like common knowledge. It's like, but still we get so many people that, so many impulse buyers that just go on Mercari mm -hmm. and go on eBay and just click buy, click La buy. Lazy, click. laziness. <laughs> laziness and too much money. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, let's be and let's let's be straight. Yeah. Nobody's jealous of your money, but you mm-hmm. know when it starts affecting everybody and affecting the hobby, then yeah. that's why we speak out about it. You know, I can't tell you how many times when I when I first started getting on this journey, honest diecast, you know, collectors and customizers Facebook page. That was before the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. The whole motivation for that was just the way that people are. You know, I found out how nasty people can be in this hobby. Oh, yeah. It's very toxic. Yeah, sure. it's it's extremely toxic. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when, when, when you would make, you know, you, everybody gets frustrated at some point. Anybody that oh, yeah. goes out there and truly hunts and hunts their butt off and they just can't find what they want to find, some frustration is going to set in if you're human, if you're not a robot, like yeah. some people expect you to be. Um. But anytime I'd see people do that, I would see people just jump on them. Like, hmm. dude, you're a crybaby. Uh, quit being a crybaby. This is the way it's always been. This and that and this. And <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with these people? They're just frustrated, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there are some people that have some illegitimate, like, crybaby complaints. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I can't find a super, but I can only go out and hunt one day a week. Well, Yeah. You're not going to find a super if you can only go that's, out. That's rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's... But, but yeah, there's a lot of people that have legitimate concerns and, and gripes, you know, that I can relate to. And I'm sure that you can relate to also. Yeah. And then another another gripe, too, I, I bet you you get it a lot, um, is where people <laughs> ask for stuff. And uh, they're not going out there and hunting themselves. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's a huge pet peeve of mine. Oh, yeah. And uh, if I if I'm following you or if I see you're not doing you're not going out looking or not doing nothing I'm I'm not gonna get you nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Sorry, and, bro. And, you're on your own. And I hate shipping, so don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're local. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he might work for the post office, but that doesn't mean he loves shipping. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> no discount. <laughs> The government wants their money. Yes, they do. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of lazy people that just... It, it's it's so hard to tell. People are becoming better at masking it, you know. Yeah, I, are, I, yeah. I've fallen for it a couple of times. and I, You just, I you just got to have a tight circle, I think. Um, exactly. I, I got a couple exactly. guys. I got, I got you, Mustang Hunter. Um King of diecast, I've met it with them real tight. You know, if they say something, I'll let them know. And if they need something, they know they can always ask me for it. So, yep. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Static says, quick topic question. I don't know if you heard a story from Big A where the target employee asked him if he wanted a camera and he said yes. And the employee gave him two FD RX7 supers. Guess camera was the code word. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> Can you believe that? That's great. Can you believe that? <laughs> so next time you go to a store, just say, I want to buy a camera. and see Camera, what huh? Yeah, see what happens. <laughs> oh, you that's know. funny. You never know. Uh, I need, at, at this point, they'll do anything for supers, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, one of the uh, more... Famous or infamous YouTubers, uh, pretty sure you know who he is. But yeah, he's got plugs in the electronic section, and they hold stuff for him back there. And he's not afraid to show it either. <laughs> I don't know, you know who I'm talking about? Hey, must be nice. Must be nice. How much did that cost you, bro? Yeah, exactly. How much you put them on payroll for? <laughs> yep. Jeez. And it's like, why would you do that? It's like, why not just ask? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I just I don't know. I don't know. So, is there anything that you would like to talk about in particular, Raul? Or have we covered everything um, you want to talk about? No, I, I I think uh, it's a pretty good discussion. Um, patience is key in this hobby. Um, have good have good people in your have to have your back. Um, be careful and, and who do some make, homework. Be careful Don't. who you make friends with in this game. Yeah, community. exactly. Make, make sure, um, make sure they're legit. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or if uh, 
just do stuff out of your own kindness. Um, honestly, I, if, if I were to give a super to a scalper, that's on you, bro. I, you know, I, I did my part, you know, I, that's, that's up to whatever that person wants to do with it at that point, you know, but me just be careful what you uh, put out there. Cause it will come back around. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Caden says one guy in my local group is asking 175 for the skyline chase out of mountain drifters. That's crazy. Oh, I hope there isn't a fool out there that'd pay that. Yeah. We... But you know, what's crazy. People are paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> people are paying it's for it so it's, dumb. Nuts. it's so dumb yes if it didn't affect everybody as much as it does i'd be like dude that's on you it's so stupid yeah. to pay that but it's, that. it's brand new it's just coming out give it a couple months that's the you thing know, guys you know, patience gotta have patience that's the thing is that people are like okay how can you tell that somebody's a scalper okay so i'll, I'll give you my definition from last live stream and you can tell me if you agree or not a scalper is an everyday Joe, like you and I, that go out to a store, hunt the newest, latest, and great die cast, clear out, clear the place out, just like a plague of locusts, mm -hmm. stack it up, put it online to sell it, you know, Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, eBay, whatever, jacked up prices, trying to get the most money you can for it. Pretty safe to say that's a scalper, right? Yeah. Because we got into the debate last live stream. Okay, well, if you have a whole bunch of cars that are like three or four years old and you decide to sell those, does that, does that make you a scalper? No, not necessarily. It could make you, by the way, for anybody that watched la last week's live stream and I had the list, I have added some more to it, but I'm not done with it yet. But one of them is the investment collector. The investment collector. <laughs> so somebody who collects diecasts and collects the hottest, latest, and greatest and wants to hold on to it and wait to see what the value goes up to. And goes up to later on. Yeah. That's the investment collector. But yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's too much work. It's too much work. I mean, <laughs> I, you, you'd have to rent out a storage unit. Yeah, sure. exactly. 110%. Yeah, no thanks. I would just rather keep these and enjoy them. Yeah. That sounds much easier. For sure. <laughs> Uh, you know, easy toy, uh, toe, toe God, you know, this person, yeah, uh, that's uh, my man Timothy. What's there going on, go. man? I think he just scored at a Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Nice, each case, <laughs> each case, yes. A friggin' Jag, man. A Jag, is nice. a Jag is not you found the Jag, haven't you? The which one, the Jag, the HK <laughs> Super? No, I haven't. No, 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 I'm I'm all up to F. That's it. That's I right. Found G or H. So that was uh, I'm on the hunt. <laughs> yeah, Frank Camacho. I think he found one or two of them down in Tucson. So, okay. and yeah. I think he scored a uh, Civic as well down there. Yes, he did. He he texted me and he was like, "Dude, finally." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was I was talking to him because uh, he was telling me uh, he he was he didn't, he couldn't find it yet, and I told him, "Go to your fries. You'll find one. They're getting cases. Go." And sure enough, you went and boom, mm -hmm. found one. So later, Eric. Yeah, See we're, later, gonna, Eric. we're gonna wrap this up here in a few minutes. I'm sure Raul's got better stuff to do than talk to me all night. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's hot out here. Yeah. Oh, I'm another gonna... thing too. If you're in Arizona and you find any sort of diecast, do not leave it in your car. It will get ruined. If you don't like your stuff open, don't leave it in your car. Amen to that. How hot was it today? 114, 115? 115, yeah. Super hot. Ain't no joke, guys. Ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. Not everybody's a snowbird and just leaves when it gets hot. Yep. <laughs> Most of us, a lot of us stick it out. Yep. Uh, Doug says more money than cents. Yep, talking about the people that pay that kind of price for that stuff. I agree with this 110%, Des. Uh, Mailman is one of the realest and honest collectors out there. Not only is he a beast, but he's willing to help out who he can. And I can attest My for that. My man does. Well. Appreciate you, man. I can attest for that as well, dude. You've hooked, you've given me some amazing stuff, and I appreciate you, man. You're you welcome. You still, got your, you still got your SRT4? Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's in the garage because it's too hot for it, too. <laughs> it is hot. <high. laughs> 
And it, is high. it ain't it ain't gonna build no boost. It ain't got no no density. Now, if you guys could find some of these, ah, look at that. Let me know because these are expensive. Nice. They're not out there anymore. Yeah, the mace though. One twenty four. How about that? Yeah, they they only did a couple Hot Wheels of those back in the day, and they are expensive. Looks like you might have another one. Oh, <laughs> or My no? Man. I think he's talking about the Jag Super. Yeah, I think so. Said, yes, sir, I did. I got one for you. Nice. All right. <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> See, guys, it's not hard to help people out. I send I send out supers like nobody's business. People see yeah. me like with a Studebaker. I gave away two of them. Gotcha. Didn't ask a dollar for them. I was just like, I I looked around, see who needed them. There you go, man. Got you. This, this one, going to somebody for free. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I got well, it's I about got plenty of supers to give away, so. I got my list going, but we'll wait till the end of the year for that one. <laughs> you get a super. You get a super. Yeah, exactly. We, we got the Oprah of Diecast over here, man. <laughs> I'll see. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Not just a neon, an SRT4 neon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ashley says, hi, in New Zealand, our price our price high, we pay new, uh, mainline $3 premium, 10, ouch. Transport, transport's 20. 20. <sighs> Dang, that's expensive. That's yeah, I feel like those, I think, I think the prices will go up too eventually. I can't see them being there for a dollar for much longer. Yeah. Yeah, somebody t uh, talked about the... The Walmart mainline sets, you know how they're like two fourteen. I, I forgot how much they are. Like oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. People were like, people were testing, or Mattel was testing the collectors to see if they would still buy that. And sure enough, we still buy them. Of course, we're gonna mm -hmm. still buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know that's why we see the mainline prices going up and up and up. I think Target just recently went back down to ninety nine cents, didn't they? I believe so, and I think I just saw uh, fry, fries Kroger at eighty nine mm -hmm. cents. Mm. But I haven't seen, I don't know, every store was a little different. I'm not sure it's, what's going on with that. Sometimes they even have a sell when they're like 30 or 40 cents. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Do you remember last year when they were ringing up? Uh, what were they ringing up? I think they were ringing up like 30 cents. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Do you that remember when the premiums were ringing up for $2 two, or 250 I know. I missed that one. <laughs> I missed well, that that one. was when the Fast and Furious EG was coming out too. Yeah, so oh, <laughs> I was like, "Dang, like hell yeah!" Uh, Eddie says, uh, "I see it all the time." Uh, I tell him to get out of the aisle and go get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. <laughs> for real, these things are made for collecting and enjoying. Mm -hmm. Enjoying. Oh yeah, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is now a dollar twenty-five tree now. Yep. I think Dollar Tree is more than them now. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. anything there? 99 cent store? Dollar Tree? <clears throat> I haven't had a hit at a 99 cent only store since, since, what was it? December of 2020 when I found those uh, 300 ZX supers. Oh, okay. I found gotcha. three of them, three of them in a matter of a couple of hours. And that was, that was it. Wow. I I'm surprised people people are so hard on them now. Like they're so like glued onto them because they're so inconsistent. You know. It's, yes. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. How like how probably ri ritualistic these hunters are. They hit the same store and they strike out every day, every day, every day. But they yeah. keep hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. That's just the kind of patience it takes. Is <laughs> that's that's it. Yeah. That's it. You're going to strike out way more times than you get hits. Way more times. Exactly. Yep. Uh, Eddie says almost eight F cases, duds from Dollar Tree. Yeah. They have not been friendly cases, the F. F how many? How many uh, see if he, uh, he'll let respond back to this one. How many more other Dollar Trees did you go to? True that. True that. 
Uh, Bullet says just Matchbox short cards. Did you see those Matchbox short cards at Dollar Tree? I didn't see them in person, but I've seen a lot of people post them, which was kind of kind of neat. But that never cool. saw them in store. That was cool. Definitely very cool. I also saw that they made the uh, the Corvette from last year of the Super Chase a short card too as well. So that was kind of neat. Like they had the Super Chase in a short card? Yeah. Yep. Oh. So it's out there. That'd but. be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice. The hashtag just saying. Out that'd there, nice. but. Oh, that'd be nice. Bear Wheels, thank you very much. And thank you again for your super generous mail call. That episode should be up tomorrow. As soon as I Good get night, it finished. As soon as I get it finished, I'll premiere it for sure. Uh, Eddie, I only have one in my town. The other is 45 away. Oof. Oof. Dang. That's rough. But could be worth it. Yeah, it could. It could be worth it. Bullet says, I still want that Corvette Super Chase. Yeah, I never found it. I, how many did you find? None. Really? Yeah. Yeah, none of those. And I haven't found the Bronco either. Yeah, I haven't found the Bronco either. But um, you want one? Sure. Okay. I got you. <laughs> I'll take one. <laughs> I got you. No, Bear Wheels is kind enough to send me two of them. So I have two oh, of them. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you Sweet. want one, I'll give one to you. Uh. Yeah. Ferris, if you strike out over and over, you got to change it up, do something different. Yeah. Yeah, either that or you're just hitting the stores at a bad time. Hmm. Just got to follow those waves. Got to pay attention to the waves. The waves, yes. That's, That's why it's important to network. Waves. Like Ra Raul will tell me when he finds stuff, and, you know, my, my friend Bill will tell me, you know, hey, man, check this store because I found some of this, and it's all about networking. Yeah. If you can't make friends in this hobby, you got to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that like cars. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of married people, married guys that like cars, and their wives don't give a damn about their cars. So we want somebody to talk to you about cars. <laughs> right? Am I lying? Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Am I lying? <laughs> hey, babe, this is the difference between a super and a mainline. And she's just like, Cool. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> right. No, I, I can't pick up my wife. She's very supportive, so gotta th gotta thank her for that. Mine is too. Mine is very supportive and very taller tolerant of my yes. So, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, she doesn't have to know everything there is to know about Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. She's just tolerant enough, and that's enough. <laughs> Leander, what's going on? I'm late to the show. I was doing baseball since 11 a.m. Boy, I bet you're tired. Whoa. Just got done. Dang, that's crazy. Man, I miss those days. I used to play baseball. Oh, I miss it. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up here in probably about three minutes. We'll call it at two and a half. You got three more minutes, Ro? Oh, yeah. I'll take okay. it. What did you used hey. to play as a, in baseball? What's that? What did you used to play in baseball? What I was outfield. I was outfield? Outfield, center field. Yeah, center, that was nice. my jam. I was a catcher. Nice. I did all that up to high school, so that was fun. How's your knees? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Should have used the knee savers, like the coaches said. Oh man! Oh, oh the pads that go on the back. Yeah. The calves. Yep. Yeah. It's probably like sitting in a chair. Man, they hurt. Yeah. But... I tried. I tried to do catcher. Yeah. I had one every single. I like. I I would be good for like maybe a pitch and squat. Yeah. And after that, it was one knee on the ground. I couldn't do it. Oh, and really? then. <laughs> Two pitches later, I had to switch to the other knee. I just I couldn't do it. Oh man! <laughs> if you guys have any questions for uh, Mr. Mailman, Hobo Collector, Raul, ask them now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> no, we're gonna have Raul back on for sure. This was this was awesome, brother. First thank of many. You. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much for coming on, dude. Oh, you're very welcome. This was awesome. Anytime. This was just. This is probably one of the easiest live streams I've ever done because we just we keep it rolling and just talk and oh absolutely it's freaking awesome man love it man thank you so, uh, well, go for it no go ahead I was gonna say what are you excited for next what, what's coming out that you're uh, excited for exotic envy oh yes oh, yes yeah. the Lamborghini right yes yeah that thing is sweet that oh. thing is so sick dude yes have you watched videos of that car the real life car. The real life card? No, I have not. Mm -mm. I'm gonna send you a link after this live stream. You have okay. to watch it. I'll check it out. And you have Heck to, yeah. Put, yeah, and you have to put earbuds in or, or headphones. Did you hear on. it? 
and you have to crank it full volume, and it's gonna all right. Blow, deal. Gonna blow your friggin' mind, dude. That car, that car is my second favorite um, track only supercar. That's my favorite, second favorite car. Really? Okay. Yeah, and the only car that trumps it is the Pagani Zonda R, the new Zonda or not Zonda, but uh, Wire R. Wire R. Damn. And and they're coming out with one, right? Hot Wheels is Hot Wheels is coming out with a Zonda R. Isn't yes, that cool in a main yes. one. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for that too. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Uh, I wonder how much that's gonna go for the first couple of weeks. Oh, it's gonna be an easy twenty bucks. Yeah, ridiculous. Main. Easy. easy. <laughs> and idiots are gonna pay for it, not knowing that it carries over to the next case, even though we drill that <laughs> home every single live stream. Don't yep. pay twenty dollars for that main yep. line. Don't pay ten. Probably don't even pay five. You're gonna see nah, them again in the next case when they carry yep. over. Yeah, every single time. I've seen people do that so much. That friggin' Toyota Tundra. Oh, every, the, the the Tacoma. Yeah, the, the Tacoma the, was so the, bad. Tacoma. Now it's just being left. The S15 wide body. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yep. I found yep. enough last night to fill up probably half of the case. Holy crap! <laughs> like, and, and they're coming out with another color too, the yellow one. Did you see that they're yeah. coming out with a recolor the yellow? I'm excited for that. I'm excited <laughs> for that. But but yeah, a recolor. And then every single Bugatti Chiron that came out. Yes. Yeah. Every single one. People tried to do it with the EB110, the uh, the blue one. The blue one. And then they yeah. found out not, not as many people wanted it. So yeah. But um. Uh, yeah. So static asked a question. Uh, how's how's Mrs. Honest's opinion about you getting higher brands like Mini GT and N064? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> how much was it no she's how, good how she, much no. was it <laughs> i think she's actually good i think she would act, she would actually prefer if i collected nothing but higher uh premium model 164 because i just ordered online rather than going out and spending going out and pass, yeah and then probably spending at least that amount of money on diecast if i find stuff jeez I think she would be quite happy if I just exclusively collected that and that was it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Well, if they ever started doing the Hellcats and the Demons, I'll be all over that. Mm -hmm. uh, need that Zonda, even though your boy's a Honda guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a must-have. That's a must-have. Oh, yeah. And can't forget the square bodies. Uh, Geo, this is a good, uh, a good comment. And there's a, there's a good, uh, response to this. People leaving the purple gassers. Oh yeah. And if, and if you didn't notice, a lot of people were leaving the, the try me mainline gasser. And this is why, um, uh, they suck for customs. <laughs> the reason oh. why, the only reason why those aren't flying off of the shelves is because they have colored windshields and not everybody wants to use those windshields. They're colored windshields. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. But yeah, I mean, even the, oh, what's that one? The Guster Gasser. That was popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was popular because, yeah, I mean, people were like, oh, it's modeled after a board game. Who cares? But it's got a good windshield. It's good for customs. A lot of people good do for customs. customs. Gotcha. Uh, where do you buy Mini GT? Uh, you can find Mini GT on um, Mini GT website, eBay. So the thing about premium diecast, uh, you have some premium diecast, don't you, Ro? Uh, like don't Carmack think works or anything? So no. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. No, I don't. Well, <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you this too. So if you like for Tarmac, for example, they'll come out with a wave of releases and they'll put it on their store. Mm -hmm. When it sells out, that's it. They're done. They're gone. And you have to go to like eBay. But even eBay is not that bad because most of the time it's like it's like these secondhand stores or diecast collectible shop where you have to buy them from. But still, they're pretty they're reasonably affordable. Um, the great thing about premium diecast is that not everybody can really afford it or, or not everybody okay. wants, yeah. wants to afford it. Like nobody wants to pay 20 bucks for one car and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So they don't go up in price that much, you know, like yeah, there's yeah. some, there's some mini champ Porsches that I want really bad that were made probably six or seven years ago and they're expensive, but wow. you can't find them anymore. So 
But yeah, usually with the Timex works, Mini GT, N064, stuff like that, they're all really relatively good priced. Um, and then, you know, they all, they all have their levels, you know, 20 to like 35 bucks for those. And then mm-hmm. you get into the Fuel Me models, which are resin, which I think are the best all around bang for the buck. Okay. Um, then you start getting around up 40 to 60 bucks. And then you get into ultra, ultra premium, like Timothy and Pierre resin models, which are like 80 to 100 bucks. Wow. Like, these, okay. like, these, like, like these ones. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's sweet. Yeah, the only thank you. The only bad thing about these is that they don't roll. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but that one doesn't roll. I'm gonna take the N064 out and see if it rolls. I think these roll, but the Fuel Me models roll. Hmm. These ones, the, the Fuel Me models, these things are badass. Yeah, it's super detailed. Oh, dude, they're ridiculous. Yeah, they're sweet. So I've been in my cubby hole, that's for sure. Yeah, that's where I got this one from. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> But in the case they had this one, I was gonna get the Tarmac Works one, mm-hmm. and then I saw this and I and I pulled them both out after uh, after they opened the case. I pulled them both out and I looked at them side to side. Dude, this thing blows the Tarmac <laughs> ones work out of the water because this thing is like on the ground. It's more detailed. Yeah, and it rolls. And Tarmacs it rolls. roll. <laughs> Tarmacs, Tarmacs want to roll. But it's like the wheels are like locked up, like they don't want to roll. I don't know why they're like that, gotcha. but you can get them to roll if you press them. And hmm. it's just weird. I don't know why. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's uh, catch up. Uh, I almost bought that Porsche with the Mo- Motu oil can. Very cool display piece. Oh, yeah. I think you're talking about. Where's that? Where did it go? Yeah, you, you might not be able to see it, but probably that one. That's a Tarmac Works one. Okay. The Motul GT3R. Yeah. Uh, I like the one with the little spray can dude on the cover. I forgot what it's called. Spray can dude on the cover. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure which one you're talking about either, Geo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Chris, Northeast Ohio Diecast. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Sparky. Yeah, Sparky. Duh. Duh. Sparky. Of course. Okay. Sparky. Yes, 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 yes. Now, these are one of the best bangs. These are one of the best bangs for the buck that you can get. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. That, <laughs> Geo, that's a, yeah, Geo, that's a spark plug. That's not a, a spray can. <laughs> <laughs> But I could see I, I could can. see I could see where you got confused. It kind of does look like a spray can. But yeah, these are some of the best bangs for for the buck ever. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. It yeah, it's definitely worth it for sure. Yeah. I don't, can now, you start making muscle? I'm telling you, there. I think there are some. I think I, I think I've seen the Corvettes. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Um, I saw I saw some really really nice C eight R's up at Cubby Hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that that's awesome. I love the C eight R's. I just don't want them to be Porsche in in real life races. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, Static says, uh, let Raul know that Mini GT has some Hellcats and some Demons, I believe, in the scat packs. They look sick. Really? Okay, I'm gonna take a look. Static knows what you like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take <laughs> oh, a look. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mopar over here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Bruce says, note to self, do not let GOGTs change my spark plugs. Yeah, he'll put spray (laughs) cans in there. (laughs) That's hilarious. Chris says, I see the resemblance too. (laughs) Uh Oh. Yeah. Them sparkies are very nice. Mm -hmm. And they roll. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, and they cheap too. They cheap. Uh, Leando, Raul does not have a uh, YouTube, but do you guys think that Raul should get on YouTube? Oh, hashtag, just, hashtag, <laughs> just asking for a friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. He does not have a YouTube, but he has an Instagram page. The link to his yep. Instagram is in the description below. So yeah, this whole YouTube yeah, thing is uh, got a lot of respect for you guys that do it, man. It takes a lot of time and effort. It does, but yeah. um, 
dude it's so much fun it's i i you know do you know what i would give to be able to do this full time <laughs> like seriously oh I'm, yeah oh so happy with it uh psa's gotta go to sleep it's 117 here peace out Ooh, guys good night, says, have a good night have a good night Static says GOG2 would be great at changing spark plugs. So, do you want blue or green spray can? <laughs> <laughs> There's your boy Diecast Des. Mailman would make some killer YouTube videos. I bet he would. I'm going to need him to do, uh, to, uh, what do you call it? Um, edit my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I will help you. I will give you all of my secrets and resources. Just FYI, I do all my stuff on my phone still. Two yes, yes, so, that's that's what everyone's saying. Yep, I don't touch a computer. The only time I touch a computer is just to mess with analytics and oh, put, okay. in, put in card links and end screen cards and all that stuff. That's that's a laptop, but it ain't nothing. Uh, break you, my pleasure, my pleasure, and yeah, thank you to Raul for being here. This is awesome, but yeah, I'll let you go. We're over two and a half hours. All right, sounds <laughs> good. Dude, thank you so much for joining me, dude. This was You're this welcome. was anytime. This was as awesome and more awesome than I thought it would be because I knew it, it was going to be great having you here. But man, we just yes. kept we kept this train rolling. We talked about some good stuff, shared some really good information, and uh, I'm looking forward to having you back. Oh, absolutely! Thank you for having me on, man. I appreciate coming, it. And uh, you're love what you're back. doing with the channel. I love what you're doing with the community. Uh, keep keep growing, keep doing your thing, man. And uh, uh, and man, if you guys don't subscribe and like this stuff, man, I'm gonna come after y'all. <laughs> the postman's gonna go postal. Yes, first. <laughs> no super for you. No soup for you. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you're coming back. You don't have a choice. All right, absolutely. I'm, I'm gonna force you back on here because this was awesome, and uh, it's definitely good to get your face out on YouTube. I, a lot of people know who you are. A lot yeah, of people. That... It's kind of scary, but <laughs> yeah. It's good, but I'm it's here. Good. It's good. So yeah, do you sub see? I know nothing about Instagram. I've never been on Instagram. Do you subscribe okay. to people or follow? Yeah, you just you follow, follow each other. Follow, um, and that's that's pretty much it. There's, I post on there. Uh, you know, I'll post what I find stories, I a little short videos, little short clips. But that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have not follow, if you're on if you're on Instagram, please head over mm -hmm. there immediately after this or right now, and go follow Raul, please. Support the brother, man, because he's good. He's good. he's good people. And Apex thank you, thank Hunter, you. <laughs> Apex Hunter, he, he's he's the he's the real deal, man. And I can attest firsthand mm -hmm. that this man is a good man. He's awesome. I love him. Love him, man. Love him. Yeah, we went a long time without talking, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, we did. But that's all right, though. We're here. <laughs> yeah, we're here. That's all that matters. Uh, yeah, Gio says, get on YouTube, mailman. Seems like a cool, awesome guy. He is. 110%. Uh, Rodney says, Derek, you mean you don't do YouTube full-time? No, sir. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even close. Um, yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day, but we're going to need... We're gonna need some subscribers and oh yeah, constant engagement. Yes, constant engagement. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy. It's not but easy. Keep doing what you're doing because it's 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 working. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate working. it. Uh, Bullet seventy six. Lamley showed up. How cool was that? That was friggin' awesome. That just FYI roll. That's the mm -hmm. first time Lamley showed up on a live stream. Wow. Okay. He's, he's commented on videos before, and we've talked. Yes. We've we've talked through email quite a bit, but that was the first time he hopped in on chat. So that was a freaking cool thing to wow. share with you. Yeah, I, I follow him on uh on Instagram, and he's got a huge following, and he's a huge diecast guy for sure. Yeah. So. One leads me to believe that he probably follows you on Instagram too, and followed I you. I have to go take a look and geek out a little bit. Yeah, do it, man. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Uh, static peace out Derek and Raul definitely awesome stream as always stay safe y'all and happy hunting God bless you too my friend as well good night man happy hunting out there little bro so yeah oh and uh yes by the way I, I wanted to shout out rapid Nismo for finding that um uh, short card uh what was it a Jag? short card jag super how crazy is that you found a short card you how guys crazy is that 
I don't know if he's watching or not. Maybe he'll watch later, but shout he'll out watch to my later. He's, he's in You know bed. what I mean? He's in crazy. Bed. Yeah, he showed me that, and I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I was like, make sure that when you make your video, you put short card. Make sure you have yes. a short card in your description. Yes. Make sure you add short card on in your description because yep. people don't find short card supers. They are the grail of grail supers. Yeah, they are. Yep. I I could have found one of my least favorite supers, which is you know 2021 B case Corvette. Can't stand that mm-hmm. super. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> if I found that on a short card, I would crap my pants. I yep. swear to God I would. So but yeah, you guys make sure to head over. Head over to Raul, follow Raul on Instagram, and then stay tuned for that video from Rapid. Yes. Go over there, watch absolutely. it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Raul, thank you, bro. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate you, man. Seriously. Love the yeah. channel. Love what you're doing, bro. Keep keep doing what you're doing, man. I love it. You let me know when you want to come back on. And I don't know if you can do – you can do live streams on Instagram, can't you? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can come over there and do that with you. I mean, so, just, sure. Hashtag just saying. All right. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> yeah. Then maybe I'll maybe I'll finally get on there because a lot of people tell me to get on there. I just I haven't gotten on there yet. So. Yeah, you definitely got you got to get on there. Definitely. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> because I know a lot of people were on, from Instagram followed you over here because mm-hmm. I saw a lot of people I've never seen before, and you knew who, you knew who a lot of them were. So. Maybe As my people, man. <laughs> <laughs> my people, my IG people. So your boy Diecast Des, I'll tell you this too. I want to answer this question for you. Uh just to kind of get your gears turning about going on YouTube. Uh okay. video editing app suggestions. So I have I use and have always used this app. It is the most probably user-friendly video app that you can use. But it's gonna be that middle one. Hopefully it it should focus. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, focus. Focus. You're not going to focus, are you? It's called InShot. InShot. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh, there you go. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, top one in the middle, that InShot icon. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you guys, it's even a caveman could, could video edit. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> but you can do really cool stuff. You can, you can add in transitions. You can put in text, put in smileys, put in GIFs. Um, you know, boost your volume, turn your volume down. You can do everything, everything. Is there more greater sophisticated software out there? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. This is what I've used since day one and it's worked. It's wow. It's good stuff. We've all had that theme song, man, while we're looking for diecast. Let me tell you. <laughs> what a theme song? <laughs> your theme song. Yes. I don't know what it's called, but it's like your intro theme song. Uh, oh, mine. Yes. Yours. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good times by VIPN. That's who it is. Uh, see, <laughs> that's my jam, man. That's my jam. I was like, man, that would make a really good intro song. You know that? Oh yeah. And it just it stuck. I'm never gonna change it. I'll always have that. Good. Always. Uh. So yeah. I could sit here and talk with you all night. I seriously could. But yeah, I'll let Definitely. you go, Raul. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you, buddy. Uh, let's oh, yeah. connect soon. Um, I would like yes. to give you some stuff. Maybe. Maybe give me like a week, a week and a half. Okay. So I can, no so I can, Cause I want to knock something out for you. I've been okay. wanting to give, I've been wanting to give you something for a long time. So uh, yeah, I can, I can squeeze you in the line and get you done. <laughs> so. I appreciate it, man. You're good. Take your time. <laughs> All right, man. We'll do it. Yeah. Thanks for everything that you've, you've always done for me and always given to me, man. You're a great dude. And again, if, if you guys are on IG, head over to Mailman Hot Wheel Collector. Link is in the description. Raul's got his name up right there, too, mm-hmm. on Instagram. Go follow him. You won't be disappointed. Thank you, Raul. You're welcome, brother. All right, man. Have a good we'll night, man. Thanks, next for, one. thanks for sitting in with me. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Man. Anytime. All right, All right man. Bro. You have a good All night, right, brother. brother. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Big thanks. The Mailman Hot Wheel Collector, a.k.a. Raul, my good friend. Awesome. Very awesome having you on here, buddy. I appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought that, that was a freaking awesome live stream. Just keeping it rolling, keeping it going. You know, again, giving out good information. Again, Raul is an apex hunter. He's he's top-notch. So 
what he has to say will definitely should definitely stick and definitely help you get out there and find some stuff. So again, if you're on Instagram, make sure to go follow him. Link is in the description below. Help help my boy out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and thank you guys for being here. Almost three hours again. Almost did it again. Uh, but we're definitely going to cut it right now. Um, I'm pooped. <laughs> I'm pooped. I'm excited, but I'm pooped. Uh, so, but thanks. Thanks again for tuning in guys. Appreciate you again. Shout out to John Lamley for actually coming in on this chat and chatting with you. That was freaking awesome, man. Um, Hey, if you ever want to hop on a live stream, hashtag just saying, <laughs> would love to have Lamley on a live stream. That'd be freaking awesome. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week again. I will probably be premiering an unboxing episode tomorrow from bear wheels diecast. And thank you guys again for that amazing mail call. I'm absolutely blown away by it. It's going to be 35 minutes long, and it's worth it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next week. Diecast discussion number 75. Three quarters of the way to 100, 100 live stream episodes. So thank you guys again for the support. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below if you don't mind. That would be most gracious. And if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing if you haven't already again trying to hit 10,000 subs by july 9th july 7th is our second year anniversary july 9th will be a diecast discussion episode i would love to make that our 10k giveaway episode so hashtag just saying i'll say it again hashtag just saying all right guys have a good night love you guys have a great night happy hunting be safe and remember it's all about the cars not about the money Drill at home every single time. Love you guys.